I'm Rose Gracie. I've been caring for fighters my whole life. I fully understand that part of caring starts with education and informed choices. Here are the brain health basics you should know before sparring or fighting. Concussions are diagnosed based on symptoms after experiencing brain injuries. Symptoms include headaches, loss of balance, and light sensitivity. Concussion may be caused by direct blow to the head, face, neck, or anywhere else on the body. These blows can create a violent ripple effect to the head. Repeated hits to the head, even without concussions, are linked to the incurable disease, CTE. You can have a CTE without even knowing it. Possible symptoms for CTE are depression and anxiety. CTE also can cause aggression and suicidal thoughts. As fighters, we take way more damage in training than we do in an actual fight. Our tools like headgear and gloves, these do not protect us from CTE. So as an athlete, as a fighter, it's our job to minimize the amount of shots that we take in training. The only way we can minimize the damage is by changing the way we train. It's important to minimize hits to the head to minimize the risk. There's safe ways to return to training after a concussion. Refer to the Association of Ringside Physicians website for more information. My mic's not on! Exactly, you talented twerps! Bah humbug to you! Everybody that messes up on this show is getting a dirty lump of coal. I swear to God, I'm going to defecate in all of your stockings if you mess this show up. You're a sucker. You're going to get a lump of coal. Nobody likes you. That's the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be, because Christmas is a fraud. It's a shit show holiday that nobody likes except for Hallmark. And with that being said, this is the anti-CTE Kyokushin Kyokushin Karate bout. That's right. The ladies can strike, but no with the fist to the face. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This young lady hails from the kingdom of Thailand, is age 22 and fighting out of the Denman camp. With a record of so many wins and so few losses, it's tough to count. Let's give it up for Cecile Cortez. And her opponent standing across the Fight Circus squared circle. This is a uh, thing that we made here at Fight Circus. It's called the square. Do one, Dana. Octagon, square. Challenge you. And her challenger is fighting out of the red corner, also from Thailand, Grung Te Mahanakon, 22 years old, training out of So Sun Ram Gym. Let's give a round of applause for Nong Nui. Three, three minute rounds of anti CT action <laughs> with three judges at ringside. And when it, gets, when it gets underway, our referee in control is Matthew Semper. How you do it, a Christmas kumite. This is anti-CTE karate, and I know this is how you open a show. My name is Teddy Mulvey. I'm alongside Luke Welling. This is Fight Circus 5. This is the greatest show on the planet, presented by the greatest showman alive. Merry Christmas, everybody. Good to have you. And in true holiday fashion, we are kicking this off with some female-on-female -female violence. And you know, in the blue corner, we have Cecil Cortez with that beautiful, cute face coming out of the Denman camp. And all of them are cuties. I mean, they are monsters here. And there we go again. No punches to the face, but kicks to the head can be allowed. Yeah, there was a there was bit of a miscommunication on the old anti-CTE fight. Apparently, yes, kicks to the head are allowed here in this fight. There's no punches to the head, so we're seeing a lot of shots to the body early. Yeah, there we go. I needed that push kick from Nong Noi. Oh, she just punched to the head. Uh, oh, oh, no. Rule breaker. Oh, no. She immediately apologized. She knew what was going on. Hopefully, it is only a warning. She had to do something, Luke. She was getting pounded. Did she not see the video we just ran for everyone? Mm, punch to the shoulder. Cecil going high. Cortez just standing and banging. This is a Bangkok brawling here in Illusions Nightclub Phuket. Again, Cortez in the orange belt and Noy in the white belt. But wow. Cortez finally checking those kicks. 
punch it, just pummeling the sides of Nang Nui. You see the Muay Thai coming out of Nang Nui a little bit. And she is just getting bullied into the corner again. Real estate prices are high. And she's paying the price for the room that she's trying to earn. Beautiful one-two there to the body. And that is a strong right, followed by a right roundhouse. Wow. Nangnoi really putting everything behind it, Luke. It's a great little scrap. They haven't gotten out of each other's range this whole time. They're standing and banging. They know how to open up a show. Matt Semper, third man in the ring, one of the best. Golly, those straight rights. There it is again. She's going to the well because she wants a drink. There's that push kick. She's got to keep those hands low, though. Don't go up top. Miss Cortez is as cool as a cucumber, huh? Yeah, they're both pretty comfortable in there. Oh, another another, another shot upstairs. No, no, he says, my Ben Rye. Wait, are we? Semper's taking points after both of those, I believe. Okay, so we're kinda, that's all right. We're, ba we're back to reset. That's it. Yeah, even as can be. So nine points to win this round. Can't catch that kick. It's Not here kick. in this Christmas Kumite. While confidence rising in Nang Nui. This is better than I thought it was going to be. I think we might bring this one back. Ah, are you kidding me? Best matchmaker in the business right there, Johnny. Nuts. Ooh, kick to the belly. Both girls going hard on the bed basket. Separation, a little bit of a reset, and back at it. Jesus. Oh! Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. we might have had an inadvertent eye poke situation here. Okay, <laughs> hold on a minute. Let's see. Referee's got to handle it. So far, our anti CTE fight has had, uh, I think, about three shots to the head. We do have a Mariah Carey neutral corner. Also a. I believe on camera right now they can see the George Michael corner was just in and play. And George Michael as well. Although Cortez decided not to do it, and we are right back at it. Nung Noi, the warrior she is. Oh. Nice knockdown there with the push kick from Cortez. Right back at it. You just see how prepared the Denman camp is every single time they step in this ring. Sure. I mean, there we go. <laughs> Round one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that's the horn. Yes. Our our horn is a bit of a sort of a clown horn you might find on a child's bicycle. We have real life clackers this time though. We're like super prepared. We've got the ring built on time. I'm not sure if you were here for our last show about five weeks ago where the ring was two and a half hours late. So this show's going off without a hitch so far. We're glad. It's the holidays. Everybody deserves a little bit of entertainment. That push kick right there from Nong Noi. Look at her nodding her head saying, let's go. And then there's a one two to the body. Poe Denman in Cortez camp, you know, okay, we got a little, re okay, yeah, you might be able to, can I get an angle of uh, the corner woman, God, thank you, you very see much. woman in black right there, Poe Denman, who just won a bare knuckle fight, yep, a wonderful bare knuckle fight, she Ten is seconds. top, seconds top, out. top seconds out. of seconds her division, she is no joke, she fights out. with dudes, she throws, That's right. and could be a model if she wanted to, but decided to step into the ring, here we go now, round two, once again, Cortez with the orange belt. Nung Nui with the white. No punches to the head, although we've had a couple. We've had a few. More than expected. Points taken away. Love how the timer started before the yeah, ref called it. There we go again. Yeah, yeah. Break it up. Break it up. This is Kyokushin Karate. Fight Circus 5. Oh, there we go. Of course, Cortez brings it. Nice. Bo Denman told her what to do. And as everyone in Denman's camp, like a video game, they just do it. Oh, this is a close little scrap. Those are some good knees from Noi on the inside. Saw that Muay Thai influence on her there. A little bit of a clinch. Not a clinch, but a little bit of a clinch. She's got a very angry sort of attitude. Nothing tells us like Christmas, like uh, some karate between a few ladies. This is a perfect way to kick off this show. No punches to the head. This is exactly me and my brother on Christmas morning. We also would scrap and would not allow punches to the head, usually uh, on Christmas morning. My brother wasn't cool like that. We delivered That's many a, a blow to the head on Christmas. I, <laughs> I bet you did. That's why you have CTE, sir. <laughs> Good knee to the body. Technique on display here, Fight Circus 5. 
Both have the same idea with the right roundhouses. Finally checking it. Can't see because wow. of the karate pants, but could be some reddening on Cortez's lead leg. That's why she's starting to check it and bring it off that canvas. That Ooh, right. Nice. And again, that was inadvertent. It was inadvertent. She dipped her head down. It was a punch kind of to the chest area. Now I'm going to looking pissed. Ooh, beautiful three-piece combo. Yeah, I don't want to be scoring this fight. This is a close little battle we got here, Ted. Again, needs to wrap it up. Needs to, oh, and she says, oh, screw it. it. That and was, throws it out. That and was, now look at Nongnoi. Nongnoi says that's how you want to do it? You want the gloves off, bitch? Yeah, you so, want the gloves off? Something about this is hot. <laughs> oh, All right. of this is hot. Bread basket. And here we go. Do you think every round they're going to lose more? No, I'm not. That's rude. That's rude. Oh. <coughs> that's rude. Strip karate for no, Christmas? stop it. Maybe next they're Christmas. Today. Professionals. Here we go. That right hand from Nong Nori is devastating, oh. and you can see the effect now that Cortez is feeling on her belly. Yeah, good shin to the baby maker there from Nong Noi. 35 seconds left. Round one and two are completely different. I really thought Cortez was in control, but Noi is now stepping her foot on that gas. She's got a couple presents under the tree still. God, that knee was lovely. And goes right back to it. Now, I know he might be pulling away here in the second round, but we both seem to be getting a little tired. That's the thing I was going to say as well. She is pulling away clearly, but now the hands are getting heavy. Now the gi is getting heavy. She, and she needs a bell, and in 10 seconds, she'll get it. Beautiful right hand. And again, and dumps her. I'm not going to lie. Round two. It's great. This is a great way to start this off. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit unfamiliar with the entire rule set of Kyokushin Karate, so I guess trip sweeps, probably legal. Well, it's good that you're on the mic, though, not yeah. knowing right? the rules. That's the secret. I just come in. Kind oh, of. beautiful ring girl there in that lovely white dress. There she is. Round yeah. three coming up. Third and final round. I believe third and final round. And, like, would you believe this is her first ever opportunity at being a Ringo? You don't see this kind of action with someone's debut. It's quite a debutante. She's actually doing a second lap around the ring. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Best fights on the planet. This is a homage to Scrooge. I wanted to call it Holocaust Schmolocaust. Yeah. And that was voted down. Well, you're allowed to say that. I'm not allowed to say that. I am. This is Hanukkah gone Ronica. Yeah. Uh, Hamas to Scrooge. We had a few kicking around. The FMD Christmas special. We, we had a few. We trimmed it a little bit. Because Third and final round. Blue corner Cortez out of the Denman camp. Red corner Nung Nai out of Saw Sun Rom. I'm saying it's dead even, Luke. It's up to you. But that right hand from Nung Noi. Now she's slapping those kicks. And Ooh. finally we get a head kick. Just off Cecil Cortez's shoulder. And she's lucky on that one. Because that was a present she didn't want opened. There it is. Rapid punches right there. I need more female Kyokushin karate in my life. Hell yeah. This is one of the fastest growing sports on the internet right now. That's what's great about putting on these events, getting these sponsors on board, Ooh, getting to try new stuff every week, man. It's the best. There's no better fight card on the planet, no better show than Fight Circus. That right hand, swing and a miss. Love the outside rights and lefts that Cortez is throwing, punishing the sides of the body. Cortez just getting in her grill, isn't she? Bringing the fight to her as she should. Caught a kick to the back. Again, I, gotta, I should learn the rules. Can you kick someone straight in the back in Kyokushin Karate? I say you can. Good enough for me, Ted. Now, Man. got a few of the rights and lefts coming from Cortez. We have those heavy kicks coming from Nong Noi. And as you said earlier, do not want to be a judge here. There it is again. God, that punch. A lot of power packed in that little princess right there, Cortez. No, I really, the gas tank is almost on empty here, and she's got a minute 17. Can she pull it out? Wow, Cortez literally making eye contact with her corner and downloading that information. Now let's see if she uses it. 
So as I said, Poe not only another sweep. All right, Poe not only one of the best fighters here in Thailand, but one of the best coaches as well. I think we got a little learning on the fly going on here. Of course, of course. Beautiful Ooh. there, kicking. She loves getting in close. There it is, punch into the belly. But that right hand from Noy is heavy as a cinder block. That is a lovely push kick. You can see the Thai influence with Nong Noy, as you should. Now Cortez listening to her corner and trying to, trying to apply it to her game if she can. Yep, Cortez again fighting out of the Denman camp, which everyone from there is beautiful, even the men. <laughs> yes, I mean, Overwhelming. Movie star beautiful. God, punching to the titties has got to hurt, man. Ooh, outside leg kick answered by Nong Noi. That push kick, I would love to see a lot more of it. It's difficult for Cortez to D that up. It's a beautiful. Three beautiful show, sportsmanship. Wow. That is the end, and we will go to the judges' scorecards. What an opening fight, Luke. What an opening fight. Modern. Tommy Hayden, the head of our officials and fight circus, the biggest official to ever done the most MMA symmetrical Indian leg wrestling and other weird stuff overall. Ladies and gentlemen, give it a, a round of applause for sportsmanship right there. Hugging it out after a lot of body on body action. I'm normally a shots to the face kind of guy, but shots to the body. It felt pretty rewarding to me. I would like to shorten down the rounds to 390 seconds if we're experimenting. And then when Cecile got that shot to the boob, uh, I saw your face. It did not look fun. Yes, I know. It's a problem. You want to know it's not a problem? Boobs and Christmas. Anyway, with that being said, all three judges have come to a decisive conclusion for your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Nong Nui. Oh my gosh, so much sportsmanship, so much sportsmanship. I can hardly contain myself. Nong Nui, our champion here at the anti-CTE games. No shots to the head. That was amazing. Um, you know, you're never going to have any callus on your brain, on your frontal cortex of your brain, so you're not going to run into PTSD matters. And I just want to congratulate you on that. Do you have anything to say to the fans around the world that really stood here, stood by you and said, you know, that girl doesn't deserve a lump of coal. Give her a present. And do we have a present for her? Oh, we got a present for her? Oh, we got a present for you. We got a present for you. Give me the present. Hook me up with the present. Yes, 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 and that, yeah, she gets both. She's the real winner. So, she gets presents from Decathlon, right, right? Big shout out to all the sponsors, Inc. Inc., Nightlife App, Nip Yadas, Coca-Cola, and of course, she gets a bottle of Bangkok vodka, because she's like 18 years old or something like that, right? Show the present, show the present, show the present. Ah, oh, drinking and rollerblading. Drinking and rollerblading. Nobody's ever won a big, ah, oh, she loves it, she loves it. So, if there's anything you wanna say to the millions and billions of Fight Circus fans around the globe, Nong Nui, now's your chance, here you go. Live from Phuket, it's Saturday night! Rock, how you doing today? Hello, welcome. People, America, Thailand, see you tonight. Thank you very much, Shang. I know you Russians and Polish people are out there. But you're gonna copy what I do, but today isn't about you Russians and Polish people. It's about us. Fight Circus number one fights in the world. This is the greatest show on earth with the greatest showman. We are about to blow your shit out the window. The fastest growing Who's that? They're all gonna kick ass! Oh my god! Oh, I'm trying to do it in shit! You're stupid! You're so stupid! There is 
no better a showman in this galaxy. Oh my God, what a right hand. was the night before Christmas when all through the strip not a creature was stirring, not even a brit. The ring was transported to illusion with care in hopes that the ringmaster soon would be there. The fighters were nestled, all snug behind stage, wrapping their hands and controlling their rage. Machapatzilla fitting into their shirt, hoisting their belt made with double girth. Let Napoleon Blonaparte show you the ropes and explain to the audience our first entrance hopes. Now how do we spice up the wrestling of legs? That is the question for which answer begs. Do we add weapons or throw in some toys? No, said the ringmaster, bring me ladyboys. Nong Rose is with us and joined by her spouse to feature as our Mr. and Mrs. Klaus. Will Sanchai play Rudolph or Bob Sap the sled? Who knows what goes on in the fight circus head? For this is the circus where all is allowed, not for the weak, the woke, or the cowed. So turn up the volume and lend us your ear. The hour has struck. Showtime is here. Christmas. Bah. Humbug. Five minutes till showtime. Where is my drink? Where is my brandy? Where is my scotch? I can organize six lady boys, seven midgets, and 20 fighters, but I can't organize a bartender? You! Where is my drink? You know what? You're fired. Merry Christmas. Get out of here, you friggin' elf. We'll go live when I say we go live. It, it, it's like, you guys want me to play Santa and go down all the chimneys, deliver all the presents, but then when I want to get my stuffing stocked, stocking stuffered, I can't even get a bartender. It's like, no throw Cheers. Cheers. You smell like fecal matter. What are you trying to Try out for Django Unchained 2 or Amistad, because you, you smell like it. Yes, I'm dead, John. You don't recognize me, do you? I'm supposed to recognize you, you frickin' extra. Oh my gosh! Is that you? Bruno Marley? You were the man! Oh my god! My mentor, Bruno Marley! You used to throw the greatest fights in all of Thailand! And bang all the ring girls, am I right? Man. I wanted to be just like you. But then I heard you died, and you look like you did. Yes, I did die. You know what happened to me, John? I was in my favorite ping pong show, and all of a sudden, blackout, and I wake up in the world between worlds. All my life, I was a very successful man, John. Then all of a sudden, I took the road of cocaine and booze. I you had me at cocaine and booze. You had me at cocaine and booze. Live fast. Die young. Bruno Marley, you were the champ of the champ. The best of the best. Woo! Everybody wanted to be just like you. Shut up, John. You talk like me when I was living a shameful and meaningless life. Shameful, cruel, and service-left life. Bro, you were the type of guy that would club a baby seal, kick a child down the street. You were the man. When I see you, all I want to do is pollute lakes and burn down trees. But that's not what I'm here for, John. I'm here for you to think about the real meaning of Christmas. Cocaine and hookers. That sounds like Christmas to me. Damn it! Don't follow my path, or your soul will be lost for eternity. The path of cocaine and hookers, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go down that path. John, this ain't no business lunch. If you don't do what I'm saying, you'll be visited by three ghosts. 
ghosts, spirits, Christmas? You must learn the true meaning of Christmas or you will be damned for eternity like me! <laughs> It's Johnny Showtime. My lord, my lord, Christmas has come early for fight fans with the greatest show on the planet, with the greatest showman. But will John not understand the true meaning of Christmas? Honestly, I'm not going to bet on that. I, he, he's being like his most horrible self at present at this show. He's already fired someone. He's yelled at the whole crew. So I'm hoping he can find some way. And if he can't, we might have to beat it into him before the show's over. Uh, he's just been a big old Scrooge, even though we have one of the greatest fight cards for this entire year. Luckily, we got it in at the end. This is power packed from top to bottom. We have a ton of surprises underneath the Christmas tree, if you will. Some of the surprises that you're excited about. So again, we have 10 fights, but it's not 20 people like you'd expect. We're up to something pushing 30 people because there's a there's a four-way pillow fight in the middle of the show between beautiful OnlyFans girls. And then at the end, we've got something called the Ho Ho Hora that you do not want to skip. Bob Sapp's jumping in there with Broly, his right-hand man. We've got a local restaurant tour, and I think they all want to take a shot at John. So I'm really looking forward to some of the freakier things we have on this card and the return of the Wheel of Violence. Wheel of Violence is one of the most popular, fastest growing combat sports. And we have Mr. and Mrs. Claus here. Do you want to explain what that entails here? We have Nong Rose and we have her boyfriend. Sure. If you're familiar with our last card or Nong Rose in general, we have an absolutely lovely trans fighter on the card and her boyfriend is fighting later on the card. I also believe Nong is being cornered by her twin brother. So it's a real family affair for the Rose clan here, and it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. Let's get back to the show. You guys are messing up. You guys are messing up everything. You guys are messing up everything. Commentators, if you guys mess up, no Christmas bonus. Zero Christmas bonus. Teddy, you get coal. Luke, you become a coal miner. Little people, you're doing what you're doing, but where's the other two little people? Are you guys trying to not have a good Christmas show? It's like, again, I come out here to do the right thing and have a good Christmas show, and Christmas is a shit holiday. It's a crappy holiday. Nobody cares about it. Everybody knows Santa is a fraud. And everybody knows that the big man can't see his willy. Everybody knows that Santa is crap and Christmas is crap. You, you suck at life. Nobody likes you. You, you're okay, I don't know who you are. You guys are doing all right, but I don't think you guys like Christmas either. Nobody likes you, you should leave. Phuket Media, get out of here. Bangkok Vodka, Nightlife App, Nipiatas, Coca-Cola, Mariah Carey Corner. Oron, get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. The George Michael Corner, right? This is a Christmas show that nobody has ever seen before because we all know that Christmas is crap. Cut the music. I said cut the music so I can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, races, creeds, colors, sexual orientation, welcome to the global leader in freak show fights, Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah gone wrong, Hanukkah, an homage to Scrooge, Patong Phuket illusions make some mother loving noise! What we have in store for you this evening is nine fights, nine fights of the freakish manner. We got Muay Thai with Mr. and Mrs. Claus. That's right, Nong Rose and her boyfriend fighting on the card. We got a four Santa medley of fights so four santas fighting each other with big ass sacks and then we got four mrs clauses fighting each other with pillows plus we have the battle of tiny tim coming up next 
and the Wheel of Violence will be here. So we've got a heck of a holiday Christmas show to you. And this is going to be better than anything that Hans Gruber ever tried to do at Nakatomi Plaza. Nobody likes you, and Christmas sucks again. With that being said, please, everybody rise as I bless each and every one of your ears with the King's Anthem. Because that's how we do it here at Fight Circus. You guys suck. Lumps of coal. Kaho wora puta chao, ao manole si raka, no prapu mi ban punyadi reg, ek parama chakrin, prasa yamin, prayotsu hinyo. Yen si ra pra pra bori ban on pra kunta rang sa ung pa japan sok sa ko pandam ta pra song dai chang srin dang huang wor ha ru tai do ta ta wa chai chai yo Merry Christmas from the whole Fight Circus crew. Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah gone wrong aga, an homage to Scrooge is brought to you by Coca-Cola, the red corner, Nippiatas, the blue corner, Ink Ink, the place where you should get tattoos everywhere on your body. The Nightlife app, Bangkok Vodka, Kong Fightwear, and each and every one of you at the number one club in Thailand, Illusions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Fight Circus 5 is proud to bring you the Battle of Tiny Tim. <laughs> Ho, ho, hope you're ready for some violence. Next up, we got the Tiny Tim Cup. This is a Muay Thai fight between two of the poorest boys in all of Southeast Asia. In our second fight of the night, the battle of Tiny Tim. Best 16 year old of Thailand versus the best 16 year old of Cambodia. Up next is a youth Muay Thai fight, and I have to say, it's nice to see Fight Circus letting people of all ages, races, and genders get the chance to develop CTE. Now, we believe in charity as much as the next man, but if you want money from us, you're gonna need to kick somebody in the face. Cambodia's number one badass teenager. Phuket's number one badass teenager. Will there be blood on the canvas? almost guaranteed. So get yourselves ready, cause somebody's gonna be real sad when this is over. Morons. Morons, I tell you. I got kids coming out here. I got kids coming out this way. I got kids coming out that way. I got microphones going off. Lump of coal for everybody. Lump of coal for everyone in the building. Swear, Wombat. Swear. Christmas goose early from the man, the myth, the legend, Oron. Music. Gosh darn it, Bob Cratchit. Fix your problems in the back or it is going to be a very bad Christmas for you. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is 17 years of age. Even though he said to me he was 16, he's a liar. And it doesn't matter what age you come out here. If you're a liar, I don't know if we can trust you. You know what I mean? Marley knows what I mean. 
Anyway, he hails from the kingdom of Thailand. He has been in some PG movies. And his name is Pongla Mek Bondasak. He has not yet learned how to smile. Do not worry about it. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man hails from the kingdom of Cambodia. He is the king of the rec center. Fighting out of Cambodian top team. He is going to be a living legend someday, but not until he gets fully through puberty. Let's give it up for Kolomak Chanrich. Oh, Ron, do me a favor, grab that belt right there. This is the Battle of Tiny Tim. This is the best 16 year old from Thailand versus the best 16 year old from Cambodia. Both these kids can't have a belt to tie up their pants, but they can win an RBS Muay Thai Championship. This is three three minute rounds of Youth Muay Thai Championship. And when it gets underway, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Oron is in charge. Christmas goose early. Problem here, though, is in Tiny Tim Manor, whoever gets oh. injured doesn't get help from John Nutt, I think, if we're going to continue with the story. So be careful, gentlemen. We don't even pay the loser. I love how we lied and said they were 16 because they're, like, for sure 14 years old. But 16 to the Athletic Commission. <laughs> I mean, we don't require official documents. We're just like, how old are you? Yeah, we're like, how old are you? Here we go, barely over the ropes again in the blue corner. We're repping Thailand. Bung Lung Mak. Cambodia's repping red. Kara Mak. Kara Mak, taller, longer. This is Muay Thai. So we have elbows, we have knees, we have clinches. This is going to be fireworks. Merry Christmas. Yep, it's another one that really just kind of hollers the spirit of Christmas, making two exceptionally poor children, children basically, kick each other in the face for a few shekels. For a few shekels. That is true. Beautiful knee. Did you see the way he stepped into that? Cambodian top teams, no joke, although we will joke about it. He goes up high, down low, brings the hands up, and then goes down low. Very Already nice. the IQ from the Cambodian fighter has been on display. But the way Thai fighters are, they do sit back, they download the information, they find the holes, and then they f fill them? Would they fill <laughs> them with... Try and pre-plan your bits a little bit better, Teddy. I didn't know I went down a road, didn't know I was going separation, and we are back at it. Beautiful knee again. Wow. Yep. Seems... Chan Reach in the red from Cambodian top team. They put out a lot of good fighters. Good to see cooperation over here, too. He's got ties in his corner backing him up. because uh, I don't think it, it, he, may have, he may have flown over here by himself. Right knee with a right cross. Down goes the tie fighter. Tie fighter getting beat up. He's got a minute 44 to try and win this round. Uh oh. Ooh. Straight right down the pipe. Oh, it looks like he's. Oh, and that's it. A minute and a half into it. Amazing fight, but this is why I hate children. They're, they're really, they're not reliable. When you need violence. See, this is why the child. I'm trying to put on a show here, Teddy. I can't have just like people folding. This is why there's child labor laws, because this is what these idiots do when children go to work. Like, dude, get in the factory and do it. Oh, wah, wah. You know what I mean? Oh, wah. I'm eight. You know, like, come on, dude. He is right in front of our table, and he does look kind oh, of. Oh, wow. He is beat up. And he, that's why. All joking aside, those knees take damage to an adolescent body take a look again even though he has a mustache oh well i mean he punched the gloves there so guys make some noise make some noise i couldn't even read couldn't even read when i was his age couldn't work out yeah let him go he's all good bring in the winner it's okay if i could please let me have uh where are the boys the ink ink boys the Ink Ink boys, you, any of the Ink Ink crowd? Ink Ink, get over here. Somebody from the Ink Ink crowd. Oh, the nightlife is in the house. Exactly, if we had Ink Ink there, then that would square it up. That's what I was trying to do, is get it to be squared up. Ladies and gentlemen, after how long? How long was it? Like 27 seconds? About a minute and a half. What was it? What was it? 
Got the time? Yeah, a minute and 37 seconds. We'll go with that, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, your new youth fight circus Muay Thai champion of the world, Kuramak Chanreach. TKO via breaking ribs. You know, have you ever celebrated Christmas before? Do you understand what the words that are coming out of my mouth? Exactly. Doesn't need to know. Want to know why? Because Muay Thai is a universal language. I'm super intelligent, and so is Kuramak. Again, a round of applause for our new youth champion. Take the photo. How fortunate he must be to not live with Christmas pain, Christmas suffering, never knowing what presents you'll be able to get. You, leave. Tiny Tim, get out of my sight. Go, go, go! I will not hug you. I will not show feelings or emotions to a young boy. Such a silly goose he is. Christmas goose and Christmas specials more to come in just a moment. This is Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah Gone Wrongaka. And you, you my friends, Bah Humbug. Championship. Meet the baddest women on the planet. Women who cannot fight in the UFC. Women who cannot wrestle in the WWE. Because these women are too fierce, too scary, and too bad, bold, and beautiful to hang with the likes of mere mortals. These goddesses of the ring will rip your leg off and put it on their mantle. It's a trophy to them. It gets them excited. They are the queens of the cage. They are the ultimate leg rustling champions. Witness the future of prize fighting. Boys, ladies, for second place. Because tonight, they are What if? Dana White and Vince McMahon had a three-way with Quentin Tarantino's foot fetish, you would have Thailand's own, the ultimate leg rustling championship.
Next up, Lady Boy Indian Leg Wrestling World Championship. It is Indian Leg Wrestling featuring two Lady Boys. If you don't know what a Lady Boy is, it is a beautiful woman with a few extra bits and pieces. It's nice to see that despite all evidence to the contrary, Fight Circus still think people want to see leg wrestling matches. Leg wrestling is like jazz, misunderstood, and mostly enjoyed by wankers. This is the kind of fight that you don't want to miss, but you might have to avert your eyes from time to time. I don't know, here we go. <laughs> Dreams do come true, ladies and gentlemen. Santa is real, and this is happening. The fastest growing sport on the planet, Indian leg rustling. But this isn't just any Indian leg rustling. This is Nutcracker Christmas Ladyboy Indian leg rustling because we here believe that everybody should comp compete, compete in anything they like, Tommy. We're, we're equals. We're equal opportunists, and even if like a Dana White power slapping thing was to happen, I think that's dumb. People think Indian leg wrestling is gonna be dumb. I think that's dumb. So Dana, I'm looking at you. You come with your white power slapping contest, and I'll come with my LBs in the ILW. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This young lady hails from a place called Rowai Phuket, otherwise known as Heaven on Earth. She is terrific vertical splits. She does them amazingly. She is timeless, like a Timex watch. Her favorite flavor is spicy. And she likes to drink coffee. Let's give it up for the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen. Jelly! And her opponent fighting out of the Coca-Cola red corner. She also hails from a place called the Pearl of the Andaman, Phuket, Thailand. You should go there. 88.9 on your FM dial. What am I talking about? Anyways, she bikes to work, so she's into fitness. Her age is Breitling. She's like a Breitling watch because she's into aviation. She's super intelligent. She likes Rocky Road as a flavor, and she's into teabagging, not coffee. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to the big John McCarthy of Indian leg wrestling, Tommy Hayden, and he's gonna lay down the women to see how the nutcracker begins. Ladies, take your places. Came early for me. Shout out to my brother Aaron. He knows that I am so excited right now. Terrific versus awesome. Question, questionable, suspicious. A lady and never tells. What a beautiful tale Tommy of the goes tape. Over the rules of engagement. Tommy. A little, a little, he's a bit hands on though. He's a little hands on. Little hands. You should mention how he's a, a professional at this. He's hands on. He's very, but very handy. Look at his neck. Has anybody yeah. noticed his fucking neck? Tommy Hayden has like a leech. Somebody sucked the veins out of his neck. He's got a hickey, folks. It probably was jelly. Oh, oh my oh. good God. Start the action up. Start the action up. <laughs> Tommy Hayden, hard as a walnut. <laughs> this is out of control already. Oh. I need some help, everyone. We're going to count to three to start off round number one. All right. Wait, what is Shh, shut up, shut Sam up. Cassidy heckling. All right, so we don't need that, girls, Sam. Please lay all the way down. Oh, oh, all the oh, way. oh, 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 I'm seeing, all the way. seeing a little bit too much from I my angle, and I like it. Get one, 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 two, three. Wait, wait. Best part about Fight Circus fans is they can't fucking count. A, you guys can't even count to three. Right, here we go, round one, round one. Are they do are they going? I don't know is who's who. Right I don't now? know who's who either. Okay, we gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. As a yeah. group. As a Bring it back up. You ready? Right. Restart. Uno. Dos. Wait. Trace. Two. Two. Three. Oh. Oh wow, she's going for something. 
Carla Wait. Swindles, what was that? That's a quick victory. You're into BJJ. She did it. That's one Fastest out. growing combat one sport out. on the planet. One, she won it. That was a gator roll. She ran, she, we need to bring them closer together. That's what we're saying. Put their balls a little bit clo I'm sorry. Put their bodies a little bit closer butt together. To that was yelled. Butt to butt. Butt to butt. <laughs> butt to butt. <laughs> butt, to butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's a movie everybody. called Requiem for a Dream. We all love it. <laughs> Nung Song Sam. Is Requiem for a Dream a Christmas movie? Two. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Here we go. Here oh. we go. All it's right. so hard. Oh. It's so hard to be entertained. By I this. have a, a really oh. odd Joe Ray, let's point. go take showers oh together after this. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh, I think it's one to one now. I believe I, it's one to one if I'm I scoring correctly. No one cares. I think that's a W. Yeah. I, I might not know anything about Kyokushin karate, but I know the together. rules of this shit. We should all make some Caligula films and feel bad about ourselves and never do this again. <laughs> Can we agree to that? Merry Christmas, Pinky Swears. Pinky Swears. Ready? So, again. Yeah. Oh, he's being pet. He's being stroked. We're going to the judges' scorecards. <laughs> judges. Judges? <laughs> We flew in judges for this. Apparently, you guys have some scorecards for me. <laughs> Who do you think? Who do you think? Look at that judge. He goes, the lady boy won. <laughs> everyone else, everyone else lost. The lady boy won. Who? Who? White ball. Ladies and gentlemen, raise both their hands, Tommy. At this particular. Indian Leg Rustling Nutcracker Edition. Your winners are Jelly and Crate. It's been hailed a draw because Ad Urshan thinks one of them doesn't have something. Something. I know what you're talking about. Let's all hug. Let's all hug. Oh, did you hear that? Controversy. Uh, Controversy. Luke, real quick, if you had to date one of them, which Thank one would it be? Thank you so much. It sounds like Thank one of them doesn't so have a penis, is the controversy. So, I'd go with that one. the dumbest thing in the world. High five. Not that there's anything wrong let's with Let's go that. to commercial. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to commercial, and let's take a bath, and let's just get that off of us. Just scrape it off, like with a Brillo pad, or a rock. Get it done. King King, come check this place out. Welcome to the best tattoo shop you've ever laid your eyes on. Remember this, aka John McLean fights in the spot. What am I doing? Well, when I rest, I have to get a tattoo. Ink ink. Nice tattoo while we're in Ink ink, baby. It's where all the ballers go. Ink. <laughs> the Siamese Kickboxing World Championship of the Universe is on the line. Conjoined twin bouts have the potential to be to fight Circus what Power Slap League will be to the UFC. 
Read into that what you will. We've got brothers versus brothers. As Mecha Petzilla takes on evil Mecha Petzilla. Yeah, you heard that right. I oftentimes tie two little elves together and make them fight each other. So Siamese twig kickboxing is nothing new to Santa, but it might be new to you. This fight has the potential to be the Hagler v. Hearns of Fight Circus 4, but then again, I have the potential to be the next Mr. Beast, and here I am doing commentary for Fight Circus. How bad do you have to hate your brother to fight him during the holiday season in front of your family? Someone's mom is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fastest growing combat sport on the planet. It is Siamese Twins Kickboxing Championship action. First fighter coming out to the stage now, out of the blue corner, the evil one, Evil Mecha Petzilla. <laughs> this is evil Mecha Petzilla is because I believe he's the right arm of the two-headed warrior here is Petzilla's biological brother so yes the guy in the white shirt that is Petzilla's biological brother so Petzilla will be on the right side of the other team this? as well how are you gonna do it so they're gonna, gonna be gonna sort of cross ah, cross face good job nobody fell nobody died Wow. And here comes the champ. The champ. The challenger. The challenger is in the ring. If the challenger is in the ring, you know what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen. We need to bring out the mother loving champion of Siamese Twins Kickboxing. Somebody who doesn't need anybody to recognize him because he's so damn famous in the sport of Siamese Twins Kickboxing. You know him. I know him, we all love him, Mecca Petzilla! The man, the myth, oh, the men, the myths, and the legends, right here. Mega Petzilla. He's got six to legs. Yet to oh my to god, oh. they just had a baby on stage. And it's a ghost moon baby. Of course. I'm proud of them. Everybody say Yindi Dwai means congratulations in time. So happy. Yep, yeah, so. get in here, clown. Get in here and show off the belt. You have many belts in combat sports that mean something. Turn the music off. Turn the music off. These belts mean something because they have lineage. The WBC belt. The UFC belt. And now... The Siamese Twins kickboxing double-faced belt that belongs to the champion Petzilla. First, fighting out of the blue corner. The blue corner hails from Rawai, Phuket, Thailand. And it looks like they're two dudes in a shirt, but they're not. They're Siamese Twins. A doctor can join them. But here's the weird thing. This guy is this guy's real brother. Like, not brother from another mother. They had the same mom. So we have evil Mecha Petzilla fighting Petzilla in a brother versus brother four-way Siamese twins kickboxing matchup. You can't make this stuff up. You can't just smoke a bunch of dope and then write it down and then make it happen like I did. Because that's what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the challenger, Mecha Petzilla. Evil Mecha Petzilla, excuse me. Evil Mecha Petzilla. Thank you. And this man needs no introduction to Fight Circus fans. With a record of over 700 fights between both of these individuals, they weighed in at a whopping 140 kgs. Oh my God. Let's give it up for the men, the mythicists, the legend is, is they are Mecha Petzilla. Three 90 second rounds of championship Siamese Twins kickboxing action. And when it gets underway, Matthew Semper is in control. 
Let's do this. Here we go. It's Christmas gangbang. We got four men in there. Two of them are related, and they're on opposite teams. In the black, all black shirts, we've got Mecha Pet Zilla. In the, I don't even know when we got the mismatch shirts. That's evil Mecha Pet Zilla. So we had Christmas Kumite, Tiny Tim Nutcracker, and you're calling this Christmas Orgy? Is that I what you said? I said gangbang. And Christmas well, gangbang. We hang out in different clubs, so. All right. I call it one thing. Tomato, tomato. Here we go. We've got eight legs and four arms and brother against brother. Classic Christmas morning. Again, fifth man in the ring, Matt Semper. Good the teeps down the middle were important last time. See if they uh, utilize it. Outside let kicks from Pet. Toe to toe. Taking a book out of uh, Cecil Cortez and Nong Noi that we saw in the first fight. Just standing in each other's wheelhouses here. Just phone booth fighting, if you will. Back and forth. Not too much power on it, though, Luke, is there? No, but it is, it's getting Ooh. a little spicier. Petzilla doesn't come here to fucking play around. No, he does not. Caught the leg. Tough to sweep when there's three other legs keeping you up. Caught nice. the leg. Nice. See, this the, was a t go ahead. the sport is evolving. See, they, like, we're seeing new techniques every time. They did really win the uh, hearts of the judges by their takedowns last fight. They were going for it again in round one. Couldn't do it. They got 30 seconds left. Beautiful high kicks there from Petzilla. Petzilla in the blue shorts, uh, his teammate, Black Petzilla in the white, caught the kick again. There it is. Can he take him down? Oh, Matt wow. Semper breaking up the action. I don't know. Reggie Watts breaking up the action. The Reggie Watts of Asian MMA referee, <laughs> yeah. Matt Semper. There we go. A lot of action here. Time. End of round one. Mojo team. All right. A little wow. bit of feeling out. A little bit of feeling out there. Tough for the comp, you I box. can hear people in the audience saying that you're not doing championship action, Petzilla. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to Check get in that there and kit. fire it up. You, in order to, to be the man, you're already the man. Actually, both of you are the men. I'm gonna give a talk to them instead. The promoter is with the mostest here, trying to amp up the fighters. There's a weak fight so far. To be the man, you need to beat the man. Do you understand what I mean? This is some real life Ric Flair drip. Woo! Going on there. I need you to get aggressive. You're never going to beat them. You're never going to win it in the judges' scorecards if you put up with that shenanigans. Shenanigans. Time? 10 seconds. Seconds out. Seconds out. I believe in the magic of Christmas. I bet they step it up here in round two. It's, it's Muay Thai. You got to feel it out. You got to feel it out. See who you're up against. Here we go. Round two. Siamese Twin Kickboxing title on the line. Santa once said, uh, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This very well could be a fantastic fight. I'm lost. You lost me. <laughs> you just write down little, like, bits of poems and just sneak them in here. That's how I do it. It's the Christmas spirit. Rather un un oh, now they're going at it. Here we yeah, go. Exactly. A lot more pop behind those kicks. A lot more aggression from both fighters. There we are. Let's go. The crowd is getting behind him. A roar from Illusions Nightclub. And oh, oh, the champ is down. 50, right back up. 55 seconds left in round two, and the champ has been floored. You could be seeing a change in the guard here. They got some ground to make up now. Oh, yeah. If you say round one was a wash, I'm not sure if they're going to say it. It looks as though Evil Petzilla is up right now. Referee Matt Semper, not a fan of the clinch, uh, the caught kicks, breaking them up pretty quick. Staying active as always, brother against brother. Oh, he caught the kick, couldn't nice. do anything with it. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Black Petzilla losing his balance. <clears throat> Interesting note about Black Petzilla, he loves cigarettes. I saw him choke down maybe 10, 10 before this fight. As you would before a professional fight seconds. amongst millions of fans. Nice, nice. Great leg kick for Petzilla. His cohort followed up with the left. End of uh, round two. Beautiful Mojo second Kizong. round. Crowd is loving it. They want him back. Now the, the sweat's going. Now they're, everyone's been punched in the face. These so guys got to show go. their face at the family Christmas. Like someone's going home a loser. Someone's showing up to Christmas with the belt. Stepped it up wonderfully. 
The champ got knocked down one or two times, Peter. One or two times. You didn't see it. You weren't paying attention. Drink as much alcohol as you can. One time? Only one time? You guys got knocked down. You guys are probably down in the scorecards. If you guys don't pull it together, no Christmas goose for your family. Do you understand me? Zero Christmas goose. This guy's smiling over here because he knows what Christmas is, and you don't because you're a Siamese twin. Okay? Step it up. Step up your game. Oh, shit. Scrooge has been heard. Will the reigning, defending Siamese champs heed the call? Let's see. Yeah, Do these guys need a shot of Bangkok vodka or what? Big third round here. Are you calling it 1-1? One, one? Or do you think Pedzilla needs a knockout or many knockdowns? I think they're going to need a significant third round one way or the other, Teddy. Push kick there. There they go. Oh. Simultaneous shots to the head from Yeah, Mac they're going Pedzilla. after it now. Oh. I don't, do we have a double stretcher in case there's like a serious injury? That is part of the contract. They do have to wear the shirts to the hospital if there is a double knockout. Here we go again. Battling back and forth. Those cigarettes are hurting the lungs of these fighters right now, as you can tell. That's what I'm talking about. Head kick pop of the crowd. Side kick action from Petzl. Oh, he caught, he caught him caught with the kick again, or got caught in the shirt. It's hard to tell from here. Good right hand from Petzilla. Oh. Both fighters giving it their all. <laughs> Evil Petzilla getting backed into the corner. Oh. Nice left. Oh, Outside nice leg kick. kick. In the ass. Yeah. That right hand from Zilla. Nice jab from Black Petzilla. Evil Petzilla fighting their way out of the corner if they can. They don't want to be staying here for long, and they don't have to. As the man missed the legend said, 10 seconds. Wow. Petzilla. These trying. guys showing why they're the champs. You know? okay. Trying to take it. That is the end of round three. I'm standing up Both men, all four men, raising their hands. Unfortunately, we will go to the judges' scorecards. How does the audience see it? Did you guys think that Mecha Petzilla did enough? Did evil Mecha Petzilla do enough? I don't know. Ad, are you scoring up the cards? All right, so now three white guys are going to judge four Thai guys fighting Siamese Muay Thai. Talk about like the world is upside down, corkscrew. After this fight, if Christmas any of magic. you guys want to go to Ink Inc. and get a tattoo, we'll staple Mecha Petzilla across your head like, like a reindeer. I'll just brand you across your head at Ink Inc. with all these, like, you know, this cool stuff. You can get there on the Nightlife app, by the way. You got it? Shut the fuck up. Are they really calling it a split, to, a split draw? You, don't have, you have no oh, idea crazy. how many scores there are for this. Fellas, come in and meet your referee. Matthew, please grab the hands. You score each fighter individually, Teddy. They don't have a team, so there's like, there's like the a, 11 The is score Illusions card. playing host to the global leader in freak show fights, and we can't get any more freak show than this. The double-sided belt is brought to you by Bangkok Vodka, which I'm gonna open right now and make them drink. Why? Because they need to. This is rather you unorthodox. You wanna know really why? You wanna know really why, guys? Why? Because there's a new champion in town! Evil Mecca Petzilla! Holy shit. Now it's Christmas. The belt yep. is going home to the same household, just a different brother. Yes. Under the same tree. I'm going to have to learn his name now that he's the champion. I will not. I don't know. It's like Dan something. It's like Dan? It starts with Dan. He asked for more. You want to know why? Because Bangkok vodka is delicious. Have you ever had it with Coca Cola? Bangkok Vodka and Coca-Cola make a real good mix. These are our new champions. Please, ladies and gentlemen, let it be known that these are the new international Siamese twins kickboxing champions. Put your hands up. There it is. 
Another round of applause for what idiocracy my crew comes up with. This was Dumb and brought to you by Bangkok Vodka. Thank you, and let's get over to that. another fight. <laughs> Nong Rose is with us and joined by her spouse to feature as our Mr. and Mrs. Klaus. This next one coming up might be Santa's favorite fight on the card. We got Nong Rose fighting in our intergender Muay Thai division. Nong Rose returns to the ring, bringing her boyfriend in tow. The beautiful boxer brings her special brand of violence all for your enjoyment. Okay, so this one really does have the potential to be the Hagler v. Hearns of Fight Circus if Hagler and Hearns were allowed to throw kicks, but you get what I'm aiming at here. In one corner you're gonna see a man, in the other corner you're gonna see a beautiful badass lady. Now I'm coming here off a bitter defeat at Fight Circus 4. Bought five rounds tonight, so we go in deep water. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this should be the main event of the evening, but here at Fight Circus, we do things a little bit different. This is the Mr. and Mrs. Claus Spectacular, Nong Rose playing Mrs. Claus, and her boyfriend, who's fighting in two fights from now, playing Mr. Claus. This is the intergender Muay Thai Championship of the world. Three three-minute rounds of action. Let's bring out our blue corner. Changed it. Ah, here comes the blue corner. Look at him, so stylish in his very lovely shorts. It looked like he's from possibly an Isan or maybe a Pak Dai. I don't know. Pak Dai. I'm gonna go with Pak Dai. Yes. Yes. So handsome. So tall. So tall. We will make out later. You and me. You. Blue corner is inside the ring. Let's bring out his opponent. Big up, big up, big up, big, big, big. 
It's all happening here. Can you do it on your own? Can I? Can I? Die. Oh. Yes, go over the ropes. None of this under shit for us at Fight Circus. Oh, Mrs. Claus. I'm so happy that you're back with me, Nong Rose. I love you. Not sexually. You understand what I mean. Let's get that going over here. Let's get that going. <clears throat> Bangkok Vodka, sponsor, proud sponsor of all of our officials, including O'Ron. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man hails from Thailand with a record of 35 wins, 10 losses, and two draws. He is 31 years of age and fights out of Bunda Sak Jim. Let's give a round of applause for the blue corner, the Nipiata corner. Bon Legon Bunda Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Bundesack. And his opponent, standing across, fighting out of the Coca-Cola red corner, also hails from Thailand with a record of 60 wins, 29 losses, and two draws. She is 26 years of young, of age, of age, if she's timeless, I don't know, fighting out of Sawtaw Chai Wat Jim, the one, the only, the queen of eight limbs, Nong Mother Lovin' Rose! <laughs> Judges, three three-minute rounds. Judges, three three-minute rounds. Change from five. Three three-minute rounds of intergender Muay Thai action. And when it gets under charge, <laughs> oh, Ron. Woo! Christmas goose. Here we go. Intergender. Again, in the blue corner, pronouns he, him, red corner, she, her. Now, Nong Rose, not the night she wanted last time she stepped into the fight circus ring. I wonder what changes she's going to bring. Yeah, no, it's great to see her back, though. She wanted a rematch with Andrew. He wouldn't take it because I think he's a little scared of going with the uh, larger gloves. We are going with the essentially the traditional Muay Thai gloves, not the MMA gloves like we had last time. So. That's right. This is a traditional Muay Thai fight. Knees, elbows, clinches. You are going to see the Kingdom of Thai on display, not only through martial arts, but through the acceptance of transgenders as well as Nong Rose hits it with a beautiful kick. Almost went for that trip, couldn't get it. Nong Rose looking very fit here for this one. Bundesak just showing up in his boxers. It's a brave, brave choice. Nong Rose looking great as always. Bundesak with the, Bundesak nice with the picnic shorts. Nong Rose with the pink Muay Thai. Almost got caught there on that teep. Beautiful side kick, throwing her to the ropes, but she's right back center stage. This woman is going nowhere. Ooh. And there's that trip. Wow, very nice trip there. Beautiful. Two minutes left here, round number one. Again, three, three minute rounds. This is an official <laughs> Muay Thai bout. No matter what you think, it is fight circus, but this one is for the books here. Not necessarily all, all the marbles, but uh, there's at least four marbles. Some marbles. In, but the judges the are white. Like, I keep bringing that back to everyone's attention. So this is a little controversial over here. Amazing. Moon Knight, the uh, tiny little midget Moon Knight on stage trying to coach up his girl here. Clearly the fan favorite. Wow, oh, the faints right there coming from Boo Light Gun. I love that he's moving to his left, trying to open something up. Probably gonna punish Nong Rose with that right kick and a slap while the crowd pops from Nong Rose. Ooh. Very, very aggressive from Boon Ligon. We backed away from that heavy kick. Yes, no, Nong's gonna have to get a little more active. We're only going three rounds here. There it is, head hunting from Nong Rose. You gotta love it. That one glanced off the gloves. Boon like gun, not afraid to switch stances. 40 seconds left here. And a powerful front kick there from Nong Rose. Tension again, palpable in here for this fight, Teddy. 
Absolutely. Hush from the crowd as everyone is waiting in anticipation. Nong Rose now cutting off the ring. Is she gonna be able to capitalize? As he circles out of the corner, beautiful. One light gun. Uh-oh. Push kick, sidestep from Nong Rose. Lovely. 10 seconds. Whoa, 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 Jesus. Go oh, around for getting the rules. Wait for the uh, clown horn. <laughs> Good end of round one. Oh, Ladies right. and gentlemen, a round of applause for Oron and all of the referees here. Without referees, would it even be a sport? Is this a sport, Teddy? I don't think so. No, no. All right, interesting first round, another close one. Nong Rose, like, really wanted to be back, wanted to show her stuff, wanted to get a victory inside the fight circus, and I don't know, that uh, was a little underwhelming first round. She's gonna have to step it up. She was the only fighter to uh, hit the canvas, but I think with those long uh, and hard leg kicks, oh, what a gorgeous ring girl as always, Fight Circus, bringing the beauties. Again, this is a homage to Scrooge. This is Hanukkah gone, Veronica. I'm Teddy Mulve. Honored to be alongside Luke Welling. Couple Massachusetts boys in the house. Let me give a shout out to Simon Roselli Seconds real quick. Out. Seconds out. Seconds away. All this right. is the intergender. Gone wrong That's it. That's right, baby. And this is Mrs. Claus, her boyfriend fighting, uh, I believe, two fights past this on the card. So uh, it'd be nice to see Mrs. Claus get a victory Yo here for the holiday song. season. Round two. It's, it's Christmas. Nobody really wants to see a dude beat up a lady. Let's, let's go now. No. I, I, okay, I don't want to te be technical here, but those are illegal sweeps in Muay Thai. You're not able to pull in. you got to sweep left to right. So if the judges, well, they're white, so I don't know. But you can't count those sweeps technically if anyone's watching at home. Sorry, I'll get back to the... There's an amazing high-level analysis. That's why you're here, Teddy. See, he's got to be careful not to, to hook and sweep her in. Otherwise, there's no points. But I don't know. It's fight circus. Let's go. There we go. Let's see this clinch action right now. You think he can feel her titties? I bet he can. I, I, trust me, I have a lot of questions, but I'm going to save those for later. True. Like, there there we go. Up top. Come on, Nong Rose. Answered back. Nice jab from Nong Rose. Hey. Boon Light Gun now is shrugging off these devastating blows which means they're hurting. Yes. A bit of a clash there. Got the Fight Circus logo. Do love that jab from Mount Rose. It seems she keeps working it. Oy. Referee Oran looking for a little more action from these two. Yeah, I think everyone is. And I wouldn't even mind if it was more Muay Thai action or other action. I wouldn't sure. mind either. Have a clinch, have a makeout, and then go back nice. to the clinch. Nice shrug there from Nong Rose. Strong broad. Hell yeah, minute eight left now, round two. Again, change from five, now to three rounds. These are officially the money rounds right off the bat. Oh, we caught it. She got away with that one. Nice leg kick, nice kick to the body from Nong Rose. She might be taking this round, keep this up, but she has been taken down. Oh, yeah, boasterous now from Boon Lai Gun. Getting a little cocky in yes, there. He is. There's probably a joke somewhere, but I just don't have it. I don't have it right now. 36 seconds left. Oh, oh Sanchai kind of wheel, cartwheel kick yeah, action. In true circus fashion. It's fairly pompous. Also, Sanchai in the back, a little homage to him as well. Honoring the greats. That's right, folks. Stay tuned. The great Senchai will be in this stage later on for some fun. Some Rose. Christmas fun. Backing him down into the Mariah Carey corner. Can she do something with it? All I want for Christmas is a elbow knockout. Oh, I, I just thought I would be able to call that there, but here we go. And there's aggression from both sides. round two. Mojo right, Tizong. Round two, three now, ladies and gentlemen. Nong Rose, uh, Nong Rose uh, seemed to be much more prepared for this fight than the last fight. Cardio is there. 
See the way he hooks that? Sure. Can't do that. I don't want those to count. Interesting. You might want to bring that up to the judges. Tell John. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Christmas. Yeah, we can we do whatever we want. John also a goddamn it. circus head. For something. Is he going to learn? Is John going to learn the true meaning of Christmas today? He has been kind of a horrible monster today, so I'm really hoping something Such gets a, due to him. It's the holiday a, season. It's a beautiful time of year. Such a Scrooge. See what happens later on. Third and final round of this intergender Muay Thai. John's horrible name. Seconds nature. out. Seconds out and seconds away from more Muay Thai action at my circus Park. John's horrible nature aside, he has put together one hell of a little variety show. Like, sort of like if Dean Martin was into just vicious, vicious violence. The man round can, three. Man can do it all. Final round. Yok Ti Sam. Yok All right. I don't think anyone in the building is rooting for the man. So I'm hoping we get well, to see some fireworks. I mean, you know, there's. Yeah, I guess you could be rooting for them. Okay. Oh, I see where you're going. Third. I see where you're going with that. Boy, non rose now. Yeah, he's got to be careful. He knows. He knows takedown score high in the eyes of the judges. Nong Rose trying to get out. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> down but Nong Rose on that one. Yeah, she. I, I, I think she's going to want to take this round just to solidify the win here and get back in the W category. Yeah, category. Get back in the W category. There it is. Ooh, love that fake overhand right. Nong Rose read it. Rose read it like a Christmas. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Twas the night like a poem. An hey. epic poem. Ooh, beautiful switch knee right there. In good circus fashion. Nong Rose now backing him down. Got a little distance with that kick, but the ropes are right behind him. There it is up top off the gloves. Will still sting. He's trying to psych her out here, I think, making her think he's going to do something crazy. Good inside kick there. He's not really doing much. He's showboating, but not doing much. And that right leg murder from Miss Rose. This is Claus. This is Claus as well. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Hope you guys have eight days of beautiful fights. Oh, yeah. Tries another dirty move oh, to send another her out the ring. For that guy. Really? Yeah. Even in his fancy leather shoes, Oron managed to get there in time. The man's dedicated to his craft. Minute 15 here. Looks like Nanos is solidifying it. Beautiful fake on the right side. Drives that left knee in. Love this clinch work. Oron does not, though. Separates. Back to the middle. Oron's got to cram his bits in there. That's he it. does. He does. We, we all do, sir. Fair enough. Good check. Come on, Nongo. Let's see what you got. Close it out strong. Yeah, let's go. Stalking him, stalking him against the ropes. Looking for an opening here. Looking for a big one, too. I think she would love to finish this on a highlight reel fashion. And I think that's what she's looking for, but I don't think the time's on her side. Mrs. Claus now back into the corner, and he allows it. Is he going to counter now here in the last 30 seconds? Because I think Don Rose is, is, is in the driver's seat. I think she's got this. The Mariah Carey corner now seeing some love. All I want for Christmas is basically both of them to make out in the middle of the ring. Beautiful push kick, little side push kick. Get some breathing room, which is what he needs. Final 10. Who goes out strong? Bunlai Gun thinks he wins this. I can tell by his demeanor. He thinks he wins it. Yep. Bit of an orgy in the corner. In the George Michael corner. And there it is. Apropos. End of round three. Mojo Tisam, Yoksa Tain, a couple. Good stuff. Always and again, we go to the judges' scorecards. Can I get a mother loving KO? Joe Ray, what's going on here? Yeah, we got to get her fight on a circus. five round fight. Normally, we only go finish, finish, finish. Joe Ray fighting Bank and No Money in the future? I think so. I think so. Judges, scorecards. Cards again. Let's see what we got here. Fairly close wow. competition. Could go either way. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. Split decision. I'm bringing I'm in thinking. the Hey, Wombat. Bangkok vodka us. Bangkok vodka us. Again, you wouldn't be able to have Fight Circus without the Mariah Corner. 
without the George Corner, without the Nip Yadas Blue Corner, the Coca Cola Corner, the Nightlife app, and Ink Ink, of course. Where's that, where's that Bangkok vodka? Oh no, just come up in here because I need you to announce that unfortunately for all of us in the room, your winner via unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Bong Lai Gan Bunda San. <laughs> Bangkok vodka? Bangkok vodka? Am I? There it is. There it is. There it is. I'm so, so sorry about that. Nong Rose, we got to get you back and we got to find like a 16 year old boy for you to kick the shit out of. Do you understand what I mean? You, Chenna, next time. Sure. Okay, Mike? Sudyot. Again, a round of applause for your winner, the most handsome man in the ring right now besides me and Oron. Right? Right. You got it, Raphael? You good? Good to go? Everybody? You? Okay. Okay. That's the way it is. That's the way it rolls. You are our new intergender Muay Thai epic awesomeness. Teddy Mulvey, Luke Welling on the ones and twos of commentary. And I'd like to thank the big top here in Patong Beach, Phuket, Thailand, the pearl of the enemy. You should go there. This is Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah Gone Rangaka, live from the number one club in Thailand, Illusions. You should go there. Let's bring out, no, 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 let's cut to commercial. And then let's bring out. Bernie May, Jenna Ploy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to thank all of the officials and the referees for being here at Fight Circus. Without them, this would not be the fastest growing sport on the planet. You need referees to make a sport. And with that, my head official, Tommy, will introduce our lovely Mrs. Clauses. First coming to the ring is uh, Miss Bernie Claus. Miss Fernie Claus, a round of applause for Miss Fernie Claus. Uh, a gentleman, a scholar, Tommy Hayden, the hardest working man in the ring right now. And Mrs. Claus, numero dos. Uh, Mrs. My Claus. Mrs. My Claus, another round of applause. Round of applause for our ladies. Oh, May Claus. And number three, Jenna Claus. Is Jenna Claus here? Miss Jenna Claus. Miss Jenna Claus. Miss Jenna Claus is wearing a corset. Ah, oh, love and midgets. That's what we're all about here at Fight Circus. Love and little people. Yes, good job. Miss Jenna Claus. So sexy. She's wearing a dirndl. The dirndl was made in Germany. A lot of people think Mercedes and BMW was the best thing that the Germans made. No, it wasn't. The dirndl, because it makes a five into an eight. And finally, looking like a China doll out of a book that I'd like to masturbate to. She is Ploy Claus. Right? Who wouldn't want to? I know Teddy's gonna get a little five finger shuffle onto this later tonight. Am I right? Am I right, Teddy? Wow, Miss Ploy Claus, you are something special. 
Tommy. Oh, I, I need to check their pillows for weapons. Tommy's going to have to check the pillows for any kind of weapons. Now, what the rules are here, this is a battle royale. Every Mrs. Claus for themselves. No teams, ladies. No teaming up. If you are hit to the ground, officials, officials, Marley, Ad, you guys need to come up here. John, you need to come up. You guys need to help out. Bart, you need to help out. This is a three strikes and you are out battle royale. If their knees, both knees, hit the ground, strike one, three strikes, you're out. If, by chance, they get hit out of the ring, two strikes. So you need to catch them and make sure nobody dies. There's no dying here at Fight Circus. Zero dying, okay? Knock on wood. Knock on wood. So, four Mrs. Santas in a battle royale pillow fight. They hit their knees to the ground, which none of these girls has ever touched their knees to the ground before. Shh. Easy. Easy. Okay? Battle Royale starts now. Tommy, you're in charge. All right. First time, first time calling a four-way. Not first time for Luke Welling calling a four-way. Here we go. Again, the rules. They can go down on me three times. Wait. Is that the rule? Close. What? Three strikes and they're out. Three strikes Three and you're down. out. Okay, I've lost track of the names, who's who. I want it's the girl fine. in the choker. I like the one with the oh choker. I think that's hot. I think they're all, all hot. Right. Pandemonium. Who, who's the one with the back? They're really getting too? after it. They're really getting after it here. But there we go. It I is a knockdowns are going to be few and far between unless we see a little more ferocity. Ladies, pick this up is, the action. This is my job, everyone. Yeah. This is what I get paid to do. Minute 10 Please left. down, Tommy. You become the winner. You become the winner. It's not. Write your own narrative, Tommy. Write your own narrative. Be the hero of your own book. Yes. That's one down. Oh my two God. Down one. Oh Jesus again, yes. Tommy. Two hands down. on. Two down. Tommy two getting way too handsy with the girls. Right. They both hit it. All right. Yep. So, uh, That's gonna be a third. Tommy Hayden looks oh, wow. like he's gonna win this one. Oh wow. Put them on top of each other, Tommy. Make a human pyramid, Tom. Make a human pyramid. At least it finally this feels Christmassy. Battle of buffoonery. Yes. Yeah, okay. Are they gonna get any more violent, Tom? Are they gonna get any more oh. violent? Can we get a round two? Start it up, round two? Yes. Round two? Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Run it back, immediate rematch. Immediate rematch. The so rules, the regulations. We are underneath the Nevada State Athletic Commission here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about this. This is all good. Are you ready? Yoke T song. Jaunina Kapo. Pandemonium here at the Illusion Cycle. Yeah, just go off the Tommy. Yes. 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 This is good. Yes. This is good fighting. Write your own narrative, Tommy. Oh, Christmas Goose. This is Ruth. I love yes. how Tommy Hayden is actually hitting single leg. Human pyramid. Human I'm pyramid. literally speechless, Teddy. I don't. Put them all on top I of each other. I don't have words. Yes. Yes. We all win. Grab the double leg, put her on top, and ploy. Uh -oh. Now you get on uh -oh. top. Yes. Surprisingly, this fight right. involving four strippers Tommy, got out of control down. quickly. There it is. Gently. Gently. Uh, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Blow the horn. Come on, Alex. You can blow a horn better than that. Alex is a professional horn blower. He's a professional horn blower. All right. After no rounds of pillow fighting action, I'd like to declare that the winner is obviously this fucking guy. Tommy Hayden wins again at the Mrs. Claus Battle Royale. I'm so jealous of you, Tommy. When you picked up that second one, what were you thinking? Cannonballs, bowling balls, holes, My dick. penises, penises and butts. All right. <laughs> Nobody here have a Merry Christmas. Nobody likes any of you. Lumps of coal to each and every one of you. Let's go over to a commercial back with more Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah gone Ronica in just a moment. They're all on OnlyFans and you should check them out and get their names backstage and then go masturbate to them. We're back with more action in just a moment.
Oh boy, Santa's having almost too much fun tonight, and we got more Muay Thai action coming at you right now. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the boys' names on this card, but I just want to let you know that one of them is the sort of Mr. Claus to Nong Rose's Mrs. Claus. That's right, he is Nong Rose's boyfriend, and they requested me on the same card, and we are very accommodating here at Fight Circus. Boyfriend and girlfriend on the same card? Whew! That's like sex in the woods. Intense. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not a good joke. It's a great joke. <laughs> After that four-way pillow fight action, we are bringing back real Muay Thai action. This is Nong Rose's boyfriend, Mr. Claus, that's coming out in just a moment. Let's bring out the blue corner and the red corner. Fight Circus team, you're doing a really crappy job at the moment. I expect you to step up, or again, no Christmas presents. Christmas is a fraud and a fake holiday, and nobody should celebrate it ever. Lumps of coal to each and every one of you. Super handsome. He's like a Korean boy band member. Anybody? Ladies? Who would make love to this man right now? Which one of you? Anybody? Me. Takers. No? That's weird. That's me. weird to me. I would. I, me. I would, I would take it down. I would take it down. Just saying. He's handsome. I would need a nice dinner Blue first. Blue corner is me. in the ring. Let's bring out his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Here comes Mr. Claus. This is the man, the myth, the legend who's dating Nong Rose. That is correct. That is Nong Rose's boyfriend, Mr. Claus. Who has a virtually unpronounceable name. I'll let you give it a try if you want. Red Corner. At Sada Kon Soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. Let's get that going. Love doing that. Love doing that. The old cup check. Ink, ink. Bangkok Vodka, the Nightlife app, Nip Yadas, and Coca-Cola are all on board with these shenanigans, and I love them for it. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Idiots. Idiots, Luke. Idiots. My whole team is a bunch of morons. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man hails from Phuket with a record of 30 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. Hailing from Bang Man Muay Thai. He is 22 years old and an absolute crusher of a human being. The Korean boy band living legend that is Pandep Bang Man. And his opponent, fighting out of the Coca-Cola red corner, also hails from Thailand. Record 30 wins, 18 losses, and two draws. Fighting out of Saw so Tall Chai Wat Muay Thai, 21 years of age and still timeless. My Korean boy band's alter ego, he is Adza Korn Sawan Chan. Three three minute rounds of Muay Thai action, and when it gets underway, Combat Matrix Zone, Oran is in the house. For this Muay Thai action, we're gonna keep it easy. We're gonna call Pan in the blue, at in the red, just for the fans at home. Boyfriend material, pygmy giraffe, stocking stuffer, you know, Santa, some of the best in the business. And I typically go with the guy with the better mustache, so I'm going Mr. Claus. Mr. You're Claus. going Mr. Claus? Yeah. I'm um, not saying it's better, it's just like slightly larger. So I'm gonna it's take uh, Sort of creepy. I'm gonna take Pan, I'm gonna take Pan Tep for this fight. All right. Here we go. This is Muay Thai action. Again, elbows, knees, clinch. The art of eight limbs is on display. I'm Teddy Mobile alongside Luke Welling. This is Hanukkah Gone Ronica Fight Circus 5. A homage to Scrooge. If you haven't seen that movie, Bill Murray, check it out. So it's a gem. Here we go. Both fighters center stage. 
We got Nong Rose's boyfriend in the red. We're doing uh, the four ounce gloves here. It's gonna be an interesting little matchup. Four ounce gloves are a game changer, absolutely. Changes the power dynamic. Third man in the ring, Oran with his uh, leather loafers, looking good. Classic uh, ring attire for referees are drug dealer from South America, loafers. And frosted, frosted tips on the hair. Classic boy tie here, just taking it easy. Little do they know this is three rounds, so right now is the money round. This is round three, starting it off. We're already a minute down, not much action. But anyone who knows Muay Thai, who loves Muay Thai, knows this is how it goes. They'll start picking up the pace now. I'm guessing At's got a lot of pressure here with Nong Rose in the building for this fight. You know, if your lady's backstage, uh, you got you, you got to come through. Nice not, little switch kick there. Not only that, Mrs. Claus has lost earlier. He needs to take the win. You're not taking two losses back to the North Pole, if you know what I mean, by North Pole. Fair point. <laughs> yeah, I, I, what I hear there, full contact in the bedroom. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of clinching going on. Pride rules. They're bedroom pride rules. Here we go now. I heard uh, there's a couple foreign objects uh, <laughs> in the ring, if you will. They bring Oron over for date night. He's like, keep it clean. Keep it clean in here. Yes. yes. <laughs> kick for kick now. Kick for tap. And just measuring, calculating, seeing what they can do. I mean, let's go, fellas. 42 seconds left here, round one. Trying to see some fireworks. Long Rose's boyfriend's either got an enormous package or an enormous cuff. It's, it's protruding, it's distracting me. It is. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's an enormous package. I'm also going to say that he will wrap it and put it on the tree for her to open. I wonder if he, like, tucks it back. Or... Honestly, I have, like, way too many questions. So you're saying you're saying that they would both tuck back rather than – or would he tuck back and then she's not tucked back? What I'm saying is I have questions. End of round one. All right. I have more questions than theories at this point, Teddy, all right? Seeing him now in person really doesn't, doesn't help. I'm, I'm betting she's the alpha, right? <laughs> He's kind of the beta in the relationship. But that's why he grew that mustache. He doesn't want to be like just, he doesn't want to be the full woman. All right. Uh, clearly he's not. He has a mustache. So, you okay? obviously, no. That was Great. a nice evasion there. Great athleticism there on this play. Round one, not much to see. Let, oh! Okay, now. More exciting than round one. Again, this is one of the best debuts for a ring card girl we've ever seen in the sport. 100%. Round of applause for our lovely ring girl holding up the number two. Without her, we would have no idea what numbers are. Nobody would know how to spell. Nobody would know how to count. Okay, round round two. number two kicks off with the music. All right. Round two here. Hopefully yeah. a little pep talk from their corners and they're gonna pick this up. I like how we play a little smooth jazz in between rounds to really get these guys fucking fired up. Let's go, boys. <laughs> We're not playing Eye of the Tiger. We're doing a little smooth jazz here. Back and forth here to the body. Back and forth to the body. Something at knows pretty well at home. I'm, I'm guessing like he's he's got a little secret thunder he can bring. Like I don't know how you win the favor of such a badass as Nong Rose. You really are this sort of lackluster. All jokes aside, you see the reddening on the left side of that, on the right side of Pan. Damage has been delivered, Santa style. At also used to doing that, going down the chutes. <laughs> Two minutes left here, round two. Again, three three-minute rounds with Team O'Vale inside Luke Welling. You do bring up another good point, though. Is, is, he, is he delivering the package, or is, you know, is he uh, in receiving? What I'm wondering is what Mr. Claus has in his sack. Something Nung Rose knows very well. Still an enigma to me and to the fans here. 
I wonder if they'd fight each other. I think we've already discussed that. I think that happens quite often in the bedroom, if you will. Oh, Oy. shot to the enormous cubes. Jesus, Nong Rose just got up huh. out of her chair. <laughs> oh, Ron, getting a little handsy there. Feel, feel it around, making sure everything's all good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, see, this is what I don't yes, like. Do, uh, Look at the corner. Is that the George guard. Michael? That groin guard. He's at the George Michael corner. We don't like pretty tie boys in the George Michael corner. Yeah, he spent too long. Because there's there. some dirty. There it is. There's a George Michael corner. You don't want to put your butt right there. You may get assaulted. Not much assaulting going on in the ring here. 56 seconds left. Let's see what we can do. Looked like that dick hit did not bother him at all. I'm going to go with Luke here and thinking that he's probably tucking it. 47 seconds left. Crowd hushed. Good left hand over the top and followed by a right. Pan now trying to steal round two here at the end. Aran looking on. Oy, kick up high, back down low. Yeah. Matt really trying to back him down and then get his offense moving. And that's the offense we're talking about. Take it up high. Someone who's not a stranger to having his legs in his head. <laughs> you know, One time kicks, man. Get your head out of the... He being kicks high, there. That's what I'm saying. Being backed into the Mariah Carey corner. And now, round two. Mojo D song. I'm taking the Mariah Carey corner home. I'm cutting a hole in it. I'm going to give the uh, Richard Arthur the George Michael corner. Okay. He, already, he already wrote his name on the back. Uh, he's, shout, got, he's got dibs. Shout out to Mexico. Shout out to Mexico City. Shout out to Che Monster. I got to get on your pod again, buddy. I haven't forgotten about you. Hope you're listening. Send me a message, you nerd. Teddy's networking. I'm going I'm to shout out the sponsors, Ted, the people involved in this event. Come your way. I know because the ring girl holds a card that says the number three on it, Teddy. Look at the big brain on John. But yeah, shout out to the people who make this possible. Shout out to Ink Ink, Bangkok Vodka, uh, Coca Cola, yeah, and the beautiful venue here in Patong Phuket Illusion Nightclub, one of the, the top 15 nightclubs in the world. I'm told, Teddy. In the Second world, and I believe it. And number one nightclub. Fight circus action. Number one nightclub in Thailand. And the smiles. You know why we're smiling. You guys are watching it. Here we go. Third and final round. We do have Mr. Claus in the red corner. Nong Rose, his boyfriend. We've got Pontep Boomerang in the blue. And now, if it's classic Muay Thai, then the first two rounds are going to be taken off. And this round is when they're going to get to work. Whenever information was downloaded, whatever your corner have said, you need to utilize those tools right now. Speaking of utilizing tools, probably something at knows. <laughs> Tool utilization. It's on his resume. Almost got caught there. Here we go. I really hope those two kids make it. I hope they have a long life together. Love them. Great. Produce Absolutely offspring. Great. Well, I don't know how these things work. Honestly, I don't know. I'm new to this. Right now, Pat backing them down. Oi! Big left to the body, followed by a right over the top, trying to gain some respect. It looks like Pat's trying to take him out. Inside leg kick. Good check. And now we're going to, now we're getting a little fight here. Yeah, Mr. Claus doing a lot better as the second half of this fight is progressed. He keeps fighting like this, we're going to change it up. And I have in Mrs. Claus, Hong Rose, Mr. Claus. Sure. But I don't know, right now he's earning that title of Mr. I'm assuming pronouns, he, him. There it is. Got him on the corner. Good circle. He's out. got a mustache. That's a safe assumption. I'd like to think, but I don't know the world today, man. Yeah. Mustaches are also used for other things down south. It's like it's ma'am. <laughs> All right, back to the action. What there, we go. there it is. One, two with a kick up top. Here we go. Now they're getting loose. There it is. Strong kick up top. Answered right back. Making the judges work for it. These guys have been kind of bringing it for the last round and a half, but their defense sure. is great. They're good. Canceling each other out. 50 seconds. Someone needs to do something. If they want to bring home the Muay Thai victory here. 
Fight Circus, and again. Ooh. Again, with the nut shots. Here at Fight Circus, we're all about procreation. We like the human race. We like the human species. We do not like kicks to the dick. Now, see, it was difficult for the girls in the beginning, uh, girls who fight uh, combat sports, to not punch in the face. Do you think that's his problem, where it's, he's usually going for the, for the dick? Back to the action, 19 sec 18 seconds left here. Both of these guys, yeah, they look like they're fairly familiar with Dick. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's the problem. Yeah. 10 seconds. All right. Ten winding it down, winding it down. Oh, yes. like one last spark here, maybe. See a circus type act. No. Oh, right. Great nearly job, decapitated job. himself on our janky ropes. We like this sort of janky the real rope ride. The fight has. circus is that we get to be transparent and we get to prick the bull. Perm, hop on, touch an Okay? Perm, hop on. Take a look at decision. Take a look at some of the action here, replay. Okay? Ta, put pass a tie. Touch a man. Perm, hop on, touch an arm. Ta, my bye. Okay, we got extra money on the line. Extra money on the line for both fighters. Oh, is that it? You talking? That was Yoki Sam? Yoki Sam, that one. We should really go one more. Should we go one more? Awik mai? Awik mai? Tachana, pum. Am I? Do I? No, let me lie, let me lie, let me lie. It was going once, it was going twice. Yeah, oh, high time, my arm. See, again, we can do that here at Fight Circus. Transparency, it doesn't really matter. Yep, grab their hands. And after three three minute rounds of Muay Thai action, your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Atsuko. Swanta! Mr. Claus takes it. I was drinking some Bangkok vodka, and I thought that we only went two rounds. I'm so proud of you for winning. That means the boyfriend won, Mr. Claus won, Mrs. Claus, Nong Rose. Na song san mak, le. Na song san mak. But don't worry, I'll still hook you up, okay? Christmas presents coming to you. You got anything to say to the fans? Exactly! That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Another round of applause for our winner. You're the man. He is the man, Luke Welling. You know what I mean by that? You see what I mean? He's the man in the relationship. I don't know. I'm over here, you know, once again, popping cherries. You're over there popping the king of pop cherries. What? Oh my gosh. Next coming up are the reindeer games. This is another comical one that we're doing for content revision so that we can go viral. Viral, Alex Schild. Doesn't matter if it's not entertaining to you. It only matters if the idiots in America laugh at it. <laughs> Americans are so stupid with their fat people in their war. I should know. I love fat people in war. What? Oh, we're good to go? Oh, we're cutting to commercial. Oh, we're cutting to commercial and then we'll come back and do it. Oh, okay. Let's cut to commercial.
Unware, the official outfitter of Full Metal Dojo. Help support FMD by owning a piece of FMD. Fanified Circus, we got you. Want to wear the history of an Obscuration MMA subculture? We got you. Want to push the absolute boundaries of brand infringement? We got you. Want to wear another man's face on your... Oh God, no. Not again. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. We also have hats. We got in one corner, Muay Thai Thai legend Sam Chai facing off with none other than Cambodian film star and absolute beauty Tarat Sam in the Reindeer Games. Sam Chai fighting his own Christmas demons. Demons might be the only people in the universe that have a chance of beating Sam Chai within a Muay Thai ring. Forget Galaxy Brain. Fight Circus went multiverse brain when they had the idea to hire one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters of all time and ask him to kick piñatas. Uh, again, is my team doing anything? I see Street Fight Mike, and if that guy's here, they're obviously letting in anybody to this show, and I don't appreciate it. So let's bring him out. She's ready? Brandon, can we get the uh, cue for the Little Frogs intro? Maybe a little, up oh, there it is. So I'm not gonna do it until she gets in here. You with me on that? Yep. You're good to go? Okay, oh look at her. She's on the stage. I didn't even see her because my back was turned to her. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Let's bring her in. Just, just jump down here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know, this is the queen of the Cambodian cage. She was in movies like Angelina Jolie's First They Killed My Father. She was in Jailbreak on, yes, yes. A round of applause for the beautiful Cambodian queen of the cage, Tarat the Little Frog Sam. Be here. You'll be here. The only person that we felt like could beat Tarat Sam because she's a Reindeer Games master is the only living legend I know that would work with Fight Circus because he's funny and I'm funny and we're a bunch of comedians. So let's bring out Sanchai, the living legend of Muay Thai. Sanchai, come on out here. Do it. Oh, he's debating it. He's debating. Oh, he pussy. He big pussy. Ah, 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 ah. Two years ago, I fought this man in a karaoke battle at Happy Jacks, and I lost. And I wasn't really happy about it. You guys got to turn around. You're on this side. Oh yeah, Sanjay. Yep. Sam, look this way. Yep. I know. I know. I know. I know, it's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna introduce him again, and I want you guys to make some noise so that we can edit it to make it seem a lot cooler than it really is. But this is the Reindeer Games. Reindeer Games, three rounds. First round, two minutes. How many wings they can eat, how much Coca-Cola they can drink. Why? Because we're sponsored by Happy Jack's Wings and Coca-Cola. So this is just pointless, pointless marketing and shenanigans for you. You understand that they could mix this with Nipiatas, the blue corner, which they will be kicking later. Google it, Nipiatas is a piñata filled with 2.2 kilos of booze. Can't make this shit up. The company rules, they want it on board. I decided they're gonna go. First round, eat as many wings, drink as many Coke. Oh, Ron, you have to count. You have to count. Pingamagan do I, Shemai? and drink Coke at the same time, at the same time, see who can finish it. Second round, karaoke, killer karaoke again. Third round, 
Nibiata breaking as fast as they can. So I'm gonna do this again. Fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Cambodia, the star of Jailbreak, Shotgun Wedding. She has the most views of anybody I know in Cambodia because she's that awesome. Her favorite food is obviously wings, not pizza, like she wrote down for me to say. Her style is bar guitar. Give it up for the little frog, Tarazza. And her opponent, nobody likes him. Nobody knows who he is. He's not famous at all. Everybody dislikes who he is. He's a Grinch. He's the Grinch of Christmas. He is in many women's dreams. He's chaotically good looking. You are. He said that his favorite food is frog legs. But not, but not. You are country as can be. His favorite style is Disco Travolta, and he likes to cartwheel kick things. Let's see if he'll do that. Give it up for the living legend of Muay Thai, Sancha. Timekeeper, put two minutes up on the board. Put on mic up. Are you ready? Are you ready? You have two minutes to eat as many wings and drink as much Coke as you can, and the Nightlife app people are getting it on film. You, you guys are the real hero. Nung, Song, Sam, Oh, wow. The most legendary chicken wing eating contest of all time. Sunshine has not lost anything in how long? Years. Ever. Years. Ever. She's got one full. There we go. Yo, he's not even eating it off the bone. Sanjay, you're cheating. How it's much Coca-Cola? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow. Come uh-oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna lie, I'm lost in her eyes. Eat, damn it. Eat, it's for the sponsors. See what I did there? Marketing, marketing. Oh, Tarot, I'm already taking a break. Sanjay, I believe in you. You can do it. You're basically Santa, but in a small Thai man's form with an L.A. hat on. I, I don't it, think so. It really does feel like Christmas, doesn't we it? We should have gotten as much Bangkok vodka as you can drink, right? Because if we had Bangkok vodka and Coke, blackout for Mrs. Sam. This is incredible, in ladies and gentlemen. You got one, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is what dreams are made yeah, of. Yeah, he's beating you. He's beating you. Look at them, they made eye contact. I felt it, it was a moment. It was a Christmas moment. This is like watching people Cambodia, summit Everest. Thailand, making love. I don't know. Wow. It's not there. I don't know if you've ever yes. witnessed true greatness like this before, Teddy, but here. it's overwhelming. Pulled in the reinforcements. <laughs> He's cheating. He's cheating with Oron. Oron's doing it too. Oron's cheating. cheating. <laughs> the fucker over here. Unreal. They're pulling to work. They're pulling to work on it. They're pulling to work. Yes, now she's Oh, and now she's got help too. One, two, three, yes. four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two professional Plus fighters no who are peak, cheating. peak physical cheating condition are now you having to do what they never have ever done off. before. I saw Sanchai earlier. End of the round. End of the round. Wow. Wow. Is anybody... Is wow. anybody else's heart just beating uncontrollably? This is the most wild thing I've ever seen. I can't seen. take it. I can't take it. I get suicide. I'm gonna commit suicide after this. Because it's just, oh, I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh Ron, count them up. Were you fucking eating again, you fat, fat pussy shit? Honestly. Hello, hello. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll give you nine. Nine wings to throughout some and not even a quarter of Coca-Cola. Yeah, I saw. Technically, I think she's the winner on the Coca-Cola. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Round number one goes to the little frog. Round number one in little frog's favor. And now, my friends, is where it really gets awkward. Who's queued up first? Who's queued up first? Brandon? Sanchez queued up first. Round number two, combat karaoke. Acapella, who can sing the best song for only 90 seconds. 90 seconds of 
karaoke time. Do you want to sing? You, oh, you're gonna pinch it. He's gonna pinch it. He's throwing in. He's throwing in the curveball. Throwing in the curveball. Bringing in the specialty man, Oron. 90 seconds. I'll allow this. I'll allow this. I'll allow this. Don't talk back. Never talk back to me. It's like Game of Thrones. He called in a champion. Sanchai opting for Oron, international singing sensation, to take his place in the karaoke battle. It's a shifty move. Smart move could be a smart move. We don't know our runs. And here we go. Let's see if it was a smart move. Karaoke round two. Senchai versus the little frog. Thailand versus Cambodia. Go. Pinch hit. Enough. That's enough. Cut him off. I think that was 90 seconds. It was 90 seconds. Did anybody understand what he was singing besides me? Because I love that song. That's my favorite song. I sing it all the time in my bathroom. When I'm in the shower, I'm like thinking of Oron, and I'm singing that song. That's what I do. That's what I'm all about. Oron, I think you could have done it. I think you could have done it. Sam, are you prepared? No pinch hitters. You have to give the song. Are you okay? Acapella. Acapella. Any song you want. 90 seconds. What do you want to sing? Yes, yes, yes. Take the lyrics out. Wow. A woman that came prepared. That's amazing. That is amazing. You got it? Are you okay?
Who knew that that was going to happen? Come in here to like America's Got Talent, Cambodia's Got Talent, crushing larynxes is what she does for her pastime. I can't believe she just broke off. I didn't have the Christmas spirit before this. I came out here like bad Bill Murray and I was like, screw all of you, you guys all have lumps of coal in your stocking, but now that you sang that, I feel the Christmas spirit, little frog. I feel the Christmas spirit. I don't know, round, round number one or round number two, what do, you, what do you think, Luke, where are you gonna go? Who, who do you guys got? Oron? Oron or the frog? Froggy? The frog? Oron and the sunshine? But yeah, there you go. Uh, Alex, you're an official. Little, little frog? Little frog sees number two. Round number two to little frog. Last round, my friend. This is a nip yada, right here. Nip yadas are adult pinatas. They're also the blue corner, and they are filled with 2.2 kgs of booze. They're adult pinatas. So we're gonna see who can get the adult pinata kicked open the fastest. Would you gentlemen please help me out with it? With us now in the ring is Happy Jack from Happy Jacks in Rewind. He will be the pinata holder, holding these bad boys up. They've got to break open the pinatas. Three pinatas, most stylish wins. This is not about power. Which I can't rank the cup. Then slow, Chamay. Then style, satayo, satayo. I think I said that in Thai. Style. Satay, satay. All right, let, let's try it with the Sam first. So, how do you kick open that pinata held by Happy Jack? Let way, let way. Let's see it. She's got 90 seconds. 90 seconds. He's got three times. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Give it a fucking kick. Taratam versus Pinata. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Yes, do that again. Don't worry about Peter. Yes, do not worry about Peter. Break it. Break it open. Again. Oh, there it is. Yes. Pinatas. Nipiatas. Oh, there it is. Oh, the Nipiatas are out. Nipiatas. I could watch this all day. Taste this. Look at that. The, the beauty. beauty. Who wants one? Look how yeah. happy, happy Jack is right there in the middle yes. of Taste the ring. It. No, that's good. That was, that was good. Sanchai. Sanchai. Retaliate. Retaliate. Rebuttal. Sanchai is going to fuck this thing up. Let's see how you would do it. How would you kick it over? Over the top. Is that a Christmas movie? Pro maybe. It's a Christmas movie now. Over the top, baby. Over the top spins it back. Homage to Over the Top there featuring Sanchai and a pinata. Here we go. Nope. Sanchai against the pinata. Oh, snap. Holy shit. Snap. I think we got a winner. I think we have a clear winner. One more. One more, Peter. Grab the TNT. Grab the TNT. Oh, we got more pinatas, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see it. This bit is Let's brought to you by Nip Yadas. Those are not official Nip Yadas. Those are local pinatas. Yes, try we just want to wanna there. get the Pull idea out there. Pinatas filled yeah. with booze. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nip Yadas. Wonder what Mexico City thinks of all this. Che Monster, hit me up. Shameless plugs, Teddy Mulvey. Shameless. Shameless Teddy Mulvey. Mr. Big Stuff. Yeah, heroic music playing. We've elevated it. We found a larger. We found a oh, cartwheel. We getting a cartwheel kick out of Sanjay here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! oh! The crowd is transfixed. You can't lose to a pinata. My co-announcer is six, eight or something. I don't know what that is in uh, kilos or meters or whatever you call it, but he's a giant. He should go in there and hold it. He's like a human tree, like group. Here we go, Sanchai. Bam! All right. We broke. 
Holy shit. Pinatas are no match for Sanchez. I'm not surprised, to be perfectly honest. Ladies and gentlemen, a hell of a show. without sponsors, we wouldn't be able to make the magic that we make so very much. So Nipiata's the blue corner. I'd like to thank Little Frog. I'd like to thank Sanchai. This is not going to the judge's decision. This is going to you. So who took it? Do we give it up for the blue Nipiata corner and Sanchai, or the red Coca-Cola corner and Tarazan? Give it up for Sanchai. Now, who wants to give it up for Little Frog? Very, very close. One more time, Sancha. One more time, Little Frog. I think there's a clear winner here. For the first time in Reindeer Games history, Sancha is the big loser. You loser! You big loser! And you are the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the queen of Cambodian Asian MMA, Lil Frog. Can we get somebody to clean this mess up now? Nipiatis is going everywhere. Come on, you guys are on it. You guys are on it. Oh. Okay, you got that. Well, now you can have a donkey. Now you can have a donkey. Wow, I mean, the solo song. I, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen there, and I wa goosebumps, dude. Yeah, I saw I a mean, tear. I saw a tear or two in the crowd. Oh. Look at that. All technique, all heart. Here's Sen One kick with the left, the legendary left, as everybody is now in there. I don't think any of these people would be thinking that they were going to be cleaning up alcoholic nips. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's throwing candy to the yes. diabetic. I kicked open you one of them. Son of a bitch! <laughs> to the wheel of violence. Fight Circus's circular instrument of randomized violence returns. Round and round it goes. Where it stops is likely upon something disappointing. Round one, boxing. Round two, left way. Round three, Indian leg wrestling. Just for fun where you can only use your ass. Just random different violent disciplines on the wheel and they spin that wheel between every round. You never know what's gonna happen. And we got two straight up warriors ready for this one. We got Brazil's Fabiano Althorn versus Kushal Villas who I believe is Indian or something. Vyas was supposed to be here last time, but he bitched out. I don't know why, maybe he had a good reason. But it's the holiday season and it's the season of beatings, season's beatings. And we're gonna find out which beatings are being handed out. Spin the wheel and find out how you gonna whoop that ass. <laughs> Come on out here. There he is. There he is. Kushal Vias in the house from India. This man has fought on Full Metal Dojos before. He's also secretly fought like three times this week. Right? 100%. 100%. Anytime, anywhere, anyone. And his anywhere, anyone is now Fabiano Hawthorne, our red corner. Come on out, Fabiano. You don't get like a big walkout. Yep, you get your name in lights right there. You get your name in lights right there. Yeah, I know, it's impressive. I've missed Fabiano Hawthorne. He moved to Dubai, which I don't know why you would do that, but he moved to Dubai. He lives there now, but he's one of my favorite fighters ever because he does anything, anywhere, and I, I'm so happy that you're back, Fabiano. Good brother. I'm happy to be back as well. Great, that's great. So we got Kushal Vias out of India and Fabiano Hawthorne out of Dubai. Now, Tommy, do you want to play the official and spin the wheel of violence to see what their first round of violence will be? Here we go. What are we going to get? What are we going to get, Teddy? Up. Oh. Oh. There it is. There it is. Fan favorite. That's, that's how it works. That's what it's all about. Let's get down here, guys. Let's get down here. 
Fabiano, come on down. Kuchel, come on down. You're good to go? Yeah, there it is. This has been an FMD production, and it is Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah Gone Rongaka, an homage to Scrooge, live from the number one club in Thailand, Illusions. This is the Wheel of Violence. In the blue corner, fighting out of India with an MMA record of 11 and 5, a Muay Thai record of 7 and 3, and boxing record of 46 and 12, 30 years young, Dragon Muay Thai going, he is Kushal Venus. And his opponent, standing across the red corner for this five minute round, for the first round, from Brazil with a record of four and four in MMA and 49 and 28 in Muay Thai, 39 years young, Team Noguera Dubai representing Fabiano Hawthorne. When the action gets underway, Matthew Semper is in charge, three judges at ringside, five circus five, wheel of violence. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get actually violent. I think we're gonna see some fireworks here. Still some candy in the ring. Crucial Viaz. Uh, looks like the weight room, not crucial in his. <laughs> I see what he did. But yeah, sure. <laughs> it's pretty casual about. Uh, he is very casual. Now you said he fought a couple times this week already. Yeah? Three times. This is his fourth fight this week. It's definitely fourth fight within ten days. This guy. Uh, I don't. I don't know. If we don't see anything good, I'm booing. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot happy, of fights. Happy to see I'm in shape more than a Round one, fighter. Round one, Fabiano Hawthorne, right. exceptionally confident coming into this fight. Red corner, Fabiano Hawthorne. Blue corner, Crucial Viaz, India versus Brazil. Good right hand over the top, Crucial. I'm Teddy Mulvey. Alongside Luke Welling, this is Hanukkah gone Ronica. Fight Circus 5, a homage to Scrooge. Merry Christmas, everybody. We got five minutes of MMA coming up here in the Wheel of Violence, but it could be anything in round two if we get there. I spoke to Fabiano earlier. He really wanted it to land on MMA, and he got his Christmas wish early here. The first round in five minutes of MMA. Oh, big right roundhouse from Fabiano. Tries to go inside. Crucial. Gets out of the way. Again, Fabiano, the blonde Brazilian with the weird last name, I'm guessing. There's a fairly long story there. Are you saying uh, Germans in South America? Yeah, I bet his grandfather was a Nazi or something. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, I'm going there. Whoa, nice one, two up top, gets Fabiano to rise up, and then he shoots down, but he, did he shoot? Into the grips. Oh. Oh, oh and now, oh, oh. He's going for the leg, and he might get it. He might get this leg, Fabiano, not in a position he wants to be in. He has four, he has three, 41 to work. And it looks like Fabiano's out of it. Could get into guard, or maybe even half guard. Fabiano decides to stand up. And now he's in control. Beautiful kicks to the legs. Kushal very crafty with those few attacks. A lot of unorthodox shit going on there. Fabiano happy to kick him up. Boy, Fabiano, someone who's seen it all, been everywhere, done everything. And he loves it here. Oh, Reggie Watts says stand up. Nice pop from the crowd there, really appreciative of the action. Fabiano with Johnny Tello in his corner, one of the best of the fisticuffs on the, Absolutely. On the, in the world, I'm going to say. Johnny Tello, one of the best in the world. Title fight coming up next month for Johnny. Ooh. Kusha with a big right, doesn't land though. Let's see where these men go. Will they keep it standing up or go to the ground? 36 to work here in the MMA round, the Wheel of Violence. Well, this is definitely uh, Kushal's best fight of the four in the last 10 days. Goes for the shot again, this time not into a guillotine. Got two underhooks. Mariah Carey corner. Of course. All right, let's see if Kushal can work from here. He's in guard, and he's going to take his time. He does have some time to work, not much. He's got two full minutes. Hey? Some blood on the shoulder of Fabio. I don't know where that's Three coming from. Three minutes in. Wheel of violence. Yeah. Crucial. Crucial seems to be bleeding somewhere. Nice. Wow. Good job, Raph. Beautiful. Good job, Raph. We don't like inactivity here at Fight Circus. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
It looks like the leg work worked. We might have oh, yeah. we, uh, oh, and he calls really? it. Unbelievable. Crucial Diaz. Crucial Diaz. Put Crucial Diaz. Crucial Diaz. He's Indian. All right, dude. But a great Ladies show and gentlemen, unfortunately, we do have an injury. Could you please give a round of applause for both guys? This is a contact sport. We are going to have to bring in the stretcher. The knee popped. We never like to see that. We have good medical attention here. Please do not worry. Nobody wants these things to happen. And to tell you the truth, they never happen in Fight Circus. But we heard the pop. And uh, obviously, look, where is it? He feels it. Hey, what is the time? There was pressure there when he was going for that heel hook. But then when did it officially pop, though? Oh, right there. Was it? Might have been. No, it was Fabiano, not. I know you're fine. I know you're fine. He gave up. It's very disappointing. It's very disappointing. He was trying to get him in a triangle situation. He sort of gave up on it himself. Like he was on his back. Yep. And then this resulted. There are no losers in this dojo. Later. Remember, it takes heart and balls and guts to get into this ring. So nobody is a loser here. The guy went in here, popped his knee. So I just want to give another round of applause for all the warriors here in Phuket Patong, around the globe, that are willing to put their heart and their balls on the line. With that being said, we have to have a winner. And with that, after three minutes and 30 seconds of round number one of the Wheel of Violence, your winner, Kusho Vias. Wow, agility, agility. I'm very proud of you. I, you know, again? I can say just thank you for the opportunity, but Fabiano, I've been watching his fight before, and he's more senior fighter than me. I have a lot of respect, and thank you for sharing the ring with me. Sportsmanship at its finest, another round of applause for Crucial Vias. Again, Fabiano, I can see the lights of his eyes. He's A-OK, -okay. he's all there. But unfortunately, the knee made a horrific pop, and we are done. We'll be back with one more fight, the ho 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 Ra for Santa sack fight with Bob Sapp in just a moment. Hey, kid, come check this place out. Welcome to the best tattoo shop you've ever laid your eyes on. I'd like to again thank each and every one of you for joining us here. We'll be sticking around for the after party. When I, well, when I rest, I like to get a tattoo. Ink, ink. Nice tattoo ball in the Ink, ink, baby. That's where all the ballers go. Ink. The Junkyard Theater helped us out with the Wheel of Violence. Make sure you check out the Junkyard Theater. Phuket for events. I'd like to give a big shout out to Pat and Bruno for making magic happen here in Phuket, bringing back tourism to life with Phuket for events. And of course, Nibiatas, Coca-Cola, Ink Ink, Bangkok Vodka, Nightlife App. Check out all the sponsors of Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah Gone Rangaka. And we will be up to more nonsense and shenanigans this February. Amazing, Mrs. Claus in the ring with me makes me a better person. Mr. Mendez in the house. Brandon's dad is here. Everybody should give that guy a round of applause. He gave birth to the best of the best. If had not been such a terrible Grinch, he wouldn't currently be in such a pinch. For the three ghosts of Christmas are there to take him to task for writing a check with his mouth that his ass has to cash. John Nott reaches peak fight circus with a three versus one Santa Claus match. 
The only way this could be any more fight circus is if this was a ladder match with a baggie of cocaine suspended over the ring. That's gonna be ugly. Very ugly. I don't know what a ho ho hurrah is, but I can only assume it's extravagant. Time for John Nutt to face the music. And by music, I mean three badass ghosts that are gonna beat the meaning of Christmas into him prison style. John John might have to give up the Chon Chon. Snow in, snow out, brother. So hopefully John makes it through this ordeal and finds out that there's more to life than coke and hookers. <laughs> Let the ho 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 raw begin, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the four Mrs. Clauses, one that I'm standing right next to right now with the sweet rack of lamb. Am I right, Luke Welling? Teddy? Rack of lamb. Christmas. Festivities. Mrs. Clauses. I'm going to bring out three loser opponents who I like to call the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas future, a.k.a. the losers in this Santa sack fight, Johnny Tello. Broly, and the icon, the beast, Bob Sack! Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh my gosh. I am gonna kill you all. I am gonna destroy you. No way are either of you winning this matchup. Me and my lady friend, Rick, we are in this red corner with my red sack, my Santa sack. If I hit with my knees three times on the ground, I am out. Those are the rules. That is the Santa sack off. Bring in my stupid opponents. Get on in here. Johnny Tello, the ghost of Christmas past. Broly, the ghost of Christmas present. And Bob Sapp, the ghost of Christmas future. It is all happening. Ladies. Bob, do you want to say anything to the crowd before we start and I massacre you in this? <laughs> Sawadee Cup, I'm going to tell you, me and my beauty, we're going to win this thing. You hear me? John Buster Nut. <laughs> so, pass, pass. So, I remember in the past, she said that you were a little bit too, you were mighty, but small. Yeah, my dick is small, but it tastes good. That's what I'm saying. And you, Ghost of Christmas Present, you got anything to say? Yeah. Suck it. You don't get to say anything, because you came too late with an answer. Get into your corners. Let's do this. I'm going to beat the bag out of you. Literally, beat the bag. Mouth guards in. Mouth guards in. Wait a second. You going 90 seconds? Every man for themselves. Every man for themselves, battle royale. If somebody hits the ground with their knees, one and done. One and done, guys. Somebody hits the ground, they're out. Santas, are you ready? Illusions Nightclub, are you ready? Yeah! Ready, fight. Here we go. And it's Mayhem Johnny Tello is out. Oh, no. It's Sap versus Broly went down. Now it is. Versus Johnny Nutt. Oh! Johnny Nutt goes down. Got Nutt down like a ton of bricks. Bob Sapp versus his protege, Broly. Broly. Johnny Tello sneaking back in. He's having trouble with the beanbag. This is pandemonium in the ring. Hanukkah gone, Ronica. John Nutt down. Sapp still available. Oh! Johnny Tello has been murdered by Bob Sapp and Broly. Sap and Broly. Oh! Bob Sap really does look like he's swinging his own nutsack around. This is insane. Tony Tello 
out of the ring for I think the third time tonight. Round one. That's just round one. Round one in the books. Of All this. right, let's give our Santas a break. Mr. Scrooge is, uh... Yo, that sucked so much more than I thought it would be. When you, when you, when you hit me the second time, holy shit, dude. And then fucking Johnny Tello flew across here. Broly, can you do one more? Johnny Tello, you got one? Bob? All right, Illusions. Round two, let's hear it. Let's go, round two. All right, round two. Rules be damned, we're just going. We're it's just a sack it. off. The great sack off, oh. huh? The Dawn Ronica. <laughs> Holy shit, this is mental. Broly oh. is slamming his sack in the guy's faces right now. Oh, John Nutt might John be Nutt knocked out. out like a light. You know what, Bob Sacks? I think we're down to just two men now. I think it's a final clash here between Bob and his protege, Broly. Oh, Broly games. Broly games, I believe, is the winner here. Oh, Bob wants more. <laughs> Someone's gonna have a heart attack here. Wow. So it's basically like a stroke off. I love when guys are throwing Fight their sex around. Is the king of bad ideas. Agreed. They're asking for one more. I don't have it. You want it? You want it? I'm done. I'm done. Huh? Alright. We do one more. One more. Three way. Wait, let's tag team. The old versus the new. Yeah. Yeah. I like this change. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob the Beast Sap says, Bob the ba Bob the Beast Sap gets. <laughs> We're going two versus two. Wow. An odd way to end our anti CTE right, show. Illusions. I've never been more excited to see guys throw their Perry sacks. Corner versus George Michael Corner. Let's go. Yes. Let's go, motherfuckers. This is iconic. Never before seen. Two on two. Sack attack! <laughs> Johnny Tello gets flattened right off the bat. Oh! The, the older team with some immediate success here, right out of the gate. Tello is down again. Johnny Tello's not giving up. Mexican Cholo. Oh, he tried to cut out Bob Sapp at the legs. That's a dirty move. Dirty move, Johnny Tello. I like it. Oh. Amazing. I was just hit with a beanbag, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Tello's Johnny off the ring. John yeah. Nuts down. Yeah. Broly is down. Bob Sapp victorious! Oh, place on their feet. Bob Sapp victorious! Absolutely remarkable. Yeah! Bob Sapp's trying to eat a pinata now. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Good job, Bob. Bob Sapp, ladies and gentlemen, the living icon. Fight Circus 5, Hanukkah gone wrong, okay is in the books. And I need to say again, from my team to everyone around the world who didn't believe in Christmas, you have to believe in Christmas. Christmas is not a time to be selfish. It's a time to spend with your family. It's a time to give more and be a better person and be the person that you want to be and be the person that you're supposed to be. From Fight Circus, and everybody here in Patong Beach at Illusions, I just want to say, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas from Phuket. Think of a better bet than in a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. Please don't hesitate. Put a little love in your heart. And the world will be a better place. <laughs>
and the world will be a better place for you and me. We'll just wait and see. Think of your best. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're done. We're done. Thank each and every one of you. Thank you so much. We'll be back in the future. <laughs> the Wadi Cup, the Wadi Cup Christmas, baby! <laughs> Bust a nut, fight circuit, Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 Hello. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Go home. Show's over. Get out. Go, go, go.